Guys, I am signing a PS5. Why? Because we're giving it away. I did it this side, and Marty's gonna sign this side so we don't disrespect this PlayStation. Since it's Christmas, PS5 giveaway signed by who? Grand Theft Auto, Franklin, Sean Fontino, and a copy of Grand Theft Auto 5 signed by Franklin, Sean Fontino. We just did the episode, guys, and we're like, you know what? It's Christmas. Let's do something for the fans. And for the fans out there, if you don't like my trash signature, just leave it on this side, okay? That's why I did it on the back. Sign on the inside, sign on the outside, sign on here, sign on here, sign on here. All right, we're shipping this off to one lucky winner. Thank you guys so much for supporting. Thank you for supporting the show. Have a dope ass day. Merry Christmas. Yo, what's up, everybody? I am Thomas Dope as usual. Welcome back to the Dope as Usual podcast. I'm here with my co-host Marty O'Neill. What's up, folks, guys, let's get straight into it. All right, this is installment two, but I feel like this is the start. This is the Sean Fontino. This is Solo Franklin. Whatever you want to call him, however you want to address him, this is this this is the G, this is the GTA episode. Let's get started. Let's go. Let's get started. Highly man. anticipated. I'm, a, yes, I'm excited. Sir, I'm here, man. Shit, you know I come for you, dog, all the time. I appreciate you. Know you how man. We do it, bro. I appreciate you. We don't do a lot of interviews at all. I was searching I don't. around on YouTube. Not a lot out there, so we really appreciate that. I don't, but I I would be wanting to do more. But some motherfuckers, they just yeah. When, when I act, when they calling me, and I, if you look at my emails, bro, they full of people, man. IG and all these people want to do interviews, and I just can imagine because all you can do is keep asking me the same shit, same mm -hmm. shit, and I'm gonna keep answering the same old shit, same old shit. So when I come with y'all, man, you know we could talk about different shit because yeah. you know. I can just open up to y'all, you know, because y'all the only show that I opened up to the last time about my drug addiction, about um, um, the mental, you know, awareness and shit of me wanting to commit. Y'all the only ones did that, bro, mm. that I felt comfortable with talking to y'all about. Appreciate Other than you, that, man. I don't talk to people about that shit, man. Yeah, I watched mm -hmm. back the episode and just it, it was super impactful, man. Yeah. I, I looked through the, all the comments I mean, we do all the time. I don't know if you saw it, but. There's a lot, like you were saying, I wish I could hug this man that helped me through step by step. Yeah. Watching, That's the same thing, the same reception that you were giving. <laughs> telling you, just read, read some of the comments. People have, I got it this morning, man. I'm going to opiate withdrawal day four. Thank so God for much. this episode. Yeah. like it, yeah. it really does mean something, man. It do. It mean a lot, bro, because that's how I got through my addiction, was looking at a dude on YouTube day for day. And he was giving me encouragement and hope that you can get to the finish line. So if I could do it for people... Um, it's all put it this way. It's almost like I want to start taking pills again, just to get addicted again. Cause I, I used to love the feeling. That shit used to feel good. Even it's to help the pain too. But I also want to kick it again. But then document myself mm, kicking it again, so people can see exactly what you go through. Cause if you never went through kicking drugs, bro, for some reason, opiate pills is fucking the worst. I know people that be on heroin. I know people be on cocaine, other type of drugs like lean and shit, and they have just fucked up stomach for a little while and throwing up and diarrhea, you know, and they had a stomach pains and they shakes. But man, that goddamn opium, man, that chemically made fucking white pill that they make, bro. It does something to the brain, bro. It's crazy, bro. I'm telling you, I'm telling you from experience of what I went through with that. And then I talked to people that kicked like heroin and and lean, and they like, ah, I just had diarrhea, you know, a few sleepless nights, you know, chills and shit like that. No, I had, man, all the worst shit you can think of putting somebody through. Like, I wanted to just kill my fucking self because I didn't want to deal with that shit. You know, it was many days and hours and minutes that I just wanted to say, fuck that, man. I need to fucking find a pill so I can just to shake this shit, you know what I'm saying? But oh, I fought yeah. it. And anybody that, that take opiate pills, man, narcos, uh, Oxycontins, and all that crazy shit, man, they will tell you it's the worst shit, bro. The worst. And did you go for back surgery shortly after our last episode? Yeah, and they and they put me back on some shit called uh, uh, Percocets or some shit. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Motherfuckers, man, feel like heaven. You feel <laughs> like, oh, fuck. That had to be but, scary, though. Like, But I controlled it mm -hmm. because I only took it just to go to sleep. I, I I just 
it was a, a guy that I knew that was going through. He'd been through it many times of just withdrawals, just kicking shit. And he said, I told him I had the surgery. And I was like, man, I'm scared to go ahead and surgery because they're going to put me on these pills. And I don't want to get back hooked on this shit. But you have to take them for all this pain you're going to be in. So I was in all this fucking pain, man. And But they gave me these pills. And I said, how do I beat this addiction and not get addicted again? He said, just take them when you go to sleep. Right before you go to sleep, deal with the pain through the day, lay down. And I said, that's going to be hard, bro. He was like, just trust me, do it that way. I didn't do it. I went the other way. I took them I took them in the morning when I got up. I took it at lunch and I took one at dinner, right? And then after about four or five days, the pain kind of started subsiding and going away. Then I said, I'm going to do it his way. And I took it right when I said, I'm going to go to bed, turn the TV off, took it. That way you don't crave the addiction you sleep through it so you be pain-free in your in your sleep and you sleep good and you wake up and you be like damn you don't crave it but if you're taking it while you are mm-hmm. wide awake it's an addiction feel just because you to it's, sleep yeah it just gives you that ah oh, everything just feels oh. good the music sound good the food tastes good just that's what them pills does mm-hmm. man these motherfuckers are smart, man. Yeah, I'm not gonna say the name because them motherfuckers, you'll pop up missing as <laughs> soon as you evil. say, Pick. Yeah. you know what I'm saying? Them motherfuckers be like, no, you're giving too much game. Mm-hmm. Get him up out of here. So, but yeah, um, that addiction shit is is crazy, man. You know, because it, it it also plays a part on, and this is something that I, I wanted. To, I was glad to come back on here and talk to y'all to build off of the last interview I did. Um, the pills addiction. Drugs, alcohol, it also plays a strong connection, man, to this disease that's called suicide and mental awareness because it's it's a depression pill. You know what I'm saying? This is something you take to be not depressed. You take these pills to make you feel like every, all the, everything is okay. And then once you're not getting them or you get too used to this one pill for so long, it's like it's not working no more. So now you're trying to look for something stronger but what's stronger? Nothing's really stronger. You mm-hmm. can go to heroin. You can go to Oxycontin. You ain't doing them, but just killing yourself mm-hmm. worse and worse. So, so that's where the suicide shit come. And then they say, fuck it. I'm going to take all of them because I, I, I'm chasing this high. And a lot of people, man, they just don't care. Like, like if you can't get them no more, the doctors don't give them to you like that no more. Like right after I got my surgery, they only gave me like 15 of them. I was in pain for about a month and a half. So after the 15, when I got down to about seven or six of them, I called the doctor. I said, hey, man, I'm down to about six. I'm going to need more because I'm still in pain and stuff. And they was like, we can't give you any more. So what that forces you to do is your addiction forces you to start calling friends and calling mm. people. And now you buying them from somebody on the street that could have fentanyl in them and all kind of bullshit. And that's where the deaths come from. I lost two people be because of that man i got a fucking toothache man a fucking toothache Mm -hmm. fuck this motherfucker killing me and everybody know a toothache bro yeah i mean Mm -hmm. i don't know if everybody a lot of people brush their shit and took care of their shit but toothaches is i'd rather get shot again than go through Mm -hmm. a painful ass damn bro them motherfuckers hurt because it's in your nerves in your your head yeah in your brain you feel what i'm saying i let a motherfucker shoot me in the leg bro before i deal with this shit again bro i dealt with it too many times so if it's hurting that bad you would say man anybody got some pills man i just need something to get this pain away and somebody be like yeah i bought something from my boy on the street up the street around the corner i got one here and it fucking be laced with fentanyl and they say no fall asleep and never wake back up so it's a dangerous game we play man we gamble it's a gambling game when you're addicted to anything that can be laced with something that is deadly and take you away because you chasing this high, bro. I don't think that high is worth it that much. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Go eat a bunch of motherfucking chocolate. <laughs> you <laughs> yeah, feel me? Dopamine yeah. kick in. Yeah, 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 let that dopamine <laughs> kick in. Go eat something that gives you that same fucking shit. Go in the bathroom and beat your shit. You beat your meat. Or go have sex or something because it gives you that same shit when you release. You feel what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. That's a men and women. If you release... That orgasm, you get that same fucking feeling. Think about it. It's that, oh, my God. 
<sighs> what an evil pill. Over. Yeah, oh, then you be pill. Pill. <laughs> but but <laughs> but that orgasm don't last long because you be looking at them like, man, get the fuck away from me, man. Shit, you know, after you do it and that feeling comes down, <laughs> man, don't put your feet on me, man. Watch out. <laughs> I do it. Sorry, babe. What's cameras on me? Uh, sorry, babe. That's my apology cam. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But um, it, it is what it is, man. You know, but that that addiction, man. I I, I want to just do a, a a whole segment on. Like one day we can just talk just strictly about that. I don't want to spend this interview on. No, I get but you. I want to do a whole sh- straight segment with someone else, man. That that we can talk about this mental awareness stuff, and we can run a number across through the screen that's saying, "Hey, contact this number mm-hmm. for help." You know, reach We've done out. that once. Yeah. yeah, my daughter goes to a really nice high school. There's kids dying in her school. Like Hell it's yeah. twice. kids. Like the, it's like a third kid yeah. already, and that's sad, bro. That's fucking yeah. sad because of this fucking pill or this drug done grabbed this baby. And this baby don't know no different. It's like the baby can't, this little kid can't function without these pills or this drug mm-hmm. to the point that she don't even know she's, I'm not going to say she's willing to die, but she just don't know. None mm-hmm. of us know. You don't know when you're going to get a bad one or you don't know when it's not going to work for you. I know the feelings of of all the damn near all the side effects of taking these fucking pills, bro. Cause I studied myself when I was doing them. Stomach ache, breathing problems, your blood pressure goes up. Um, um, you get you get angry. You fucking angry with your family for mm-hmm. nothing. You snappy. You just go through so many side effects, bro, that it, it you can tell that it's because of the drugs. Yeah. Cause once you get off of them motherfuckers, man, you be like, damn, I'm happier. Stomach don't hurt no more. I don't have headaches. I'm not angry. You know what I'm Damn. saying? I'm all cool. So this shit that's created is the devil itself, bro. It's, it's evil. It's probably worse than the devil, man. It's fucking evil, bro. It's not right, man. You know Was what I'm saying? Was the back surgery worth it? No. I'm fucking mad that I got it, bro. What was wrong with your back? Um, I had spine. It was called... um um. Oh, what you call that shit, man? Uh, where your spine narrow, um, narrowing on your um, nerves, spinal stenosis, and it came over years of just like I used to be an avid runner. I used to jog and a lot, bro. I'm talking about I used to go run ten miles every morning like Damn. there was nothing, like just gone. My wife used to be like, "Oh my god, why are you running so much?" And no sweat coming. I used to just be. I don't know. I got addicted to this shit. I used to run around the track, bro, constantly, like nonstop, bro. And I think after all the running and accidents I've been through and then being shot twice in the stomach and shot in the arms and just the shit I put myself through at a younger age, it catches up to you in life. And when you get to a certain age, this older man said, why are you doing all that running? Stop fucking running. Walk. Don't run like that no more. You're going to pay for it. Nice. Like, Shut the fuck up. Don't, 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 don't. I wish I would have listened to him. So it got to the point that it was so bad that um, I was like trying to find pills for it again. Then I said, I don't want to do that. So talking to the doctors, what do I do? Because they were like, well, we'll, we'll give you some pills. I don't want your fucking pills. What could we do to fix this once and for all? Well, we don't recommend surgery right now. We would say, wait till you get a little older, but we can do therapy. Okay, let's try therapy. I'm in there with these people. A old ass lady or old man that really don't know what the fuck they're doing. So you really be in more pain when you come home after the therapy session. So you be like, this shit was a waste. You know what I'm saying? It's making it worse. Then you get the injections. The injections is the only shit that works. Cortisone. Whatever the fuck they do, bro. Yeah. They they lay you on a table, put an IV in your fucking hand, and you lay down and they say, okay, here come your cocktail. And, they, and you hear the doctor say, yeah, give them... Uh, one cc, two cc's of fentanyl. You'd be like, wait, wait, what? wait, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. You'd be like, no, this is the safe shit, man. You, was, <laughs> you are in the doctor's office. You was That's at, what Michael Jackson said. Yeah, man. bro. I'm telling oh, you. So you real. be, you kind of be in, at a fear, bro. But you land down on the bed with all your clothes on. They just pull your shirt up and clean right at the center where the where the where the spine, spine is, is at. And they got an X-ray machine to show where they go in there and shoot this shit at. And they pump this shit in you, in your hand. It's, the lady would be like, okay, come to the cocktail. And you'd be like, sitting there like, mm-hmm. Next thing you know, you'd be. And it, it, they do it. You don't feel nothing. The next thing you know, they'd be, okay, come on, let's go. Call your wife. Um, we walking him out now. And you walk out to the car. Two hours later, the high go away. 
um, the pain be gone. You'd be like, damn. Really gone? Fuck. Hell yeah. You'd be like, what the fuck? Like, feel brand new, and it might last for some people, it lasts for a year. Some Whoa. people, it lasts six months. My shit, when I first started doing them, um, they were lasting for like six months to eight months. To my pain free, bro. Pain fucking free. Then it got to where it was only lasting three months. Then it got oh. to about a month and a half. So now it's been balancing around a month and a half to two months. Like, I had just got one in, um, uh, I want to say October, early October, mm-hmm. and the pain is back. It's back, you know. But we're in December, so I got a good month and a half, close to you know, almost yeah. two months. But the pain is coming back. I didn't know you had back problems, man. Yeah, I have. I don't know if you know, I have a I severe back you problem. Was telling me, bro, my shit's working. I've been doing this this decompression uh, spinal yeah. specialist. Bro, I can touch my toes. I can bend to the side. I can touch all that shit. I can do that no, too, bro. I'm saying no, my my back. I couldn't. I was at five percent mobility. I could not bend. See, your, all my discs were. That, yeah. See, your I'd problem is discs. different. Yeah, I'd rupture your discs. Your problem is your discs are like is, this. Is, 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 on top of each other. Yeah, mine wasn't that. All Yours that was narrowing. perfect with me. Mine in the inside of the spine, where the nerves go oh. down through your brain, down in the center of your spine, was narrowing and so squeezing can't do my nerves. I do. So the only thing they can do was say, "Hey, we see it right here on the MRI at your L four, L five at the bottom. Have to cut oh. you open, open that shit up, cut them bones out. You know, and you have open. these things all mm-hmm. down the back of your spine. You mm-hmm. can feel them. Feel you press them, yeah. back there. You can't feel my two. They had to they cut, them, cut out them off so it can relieve the pressure on. Oh, the so you just have you have a, it's a it's like a degenerative thing with you. Yeah, it's not. Oh, damn! Yeah, you, not not it's other, bad. He's got bad not love. spasms or none of that shit. I just end up with a bad luck. I can't situation. imagine this kind of pain. Yeah, this is different pain than I. Have. Like I really it's like supposed to be using the nerves. Basically, it's choking it. Mm-hmm. And it runs down both of your legs. It just sciatica it's it's to just your knees, yeah. to your oh feet. Oh my god, the worst pain, I have it bro. Too. Mm-hmm. So I'm really supposed to be heavy on drugs right now, to be honest with you. But I fight it. You know, some things you just learn to live with. I'm just adapting the pain and making it into something else. You know what I'm saying? I just take it in, take it in, take so it in. So you basically just have to manage it. Manage it. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I'm managing that shit, and it's hard, bro. It's not yeah. easy as y'all think it is. Like. Like, I dread going out to the game tonight because mm-hmm. so much walking yeah. makes it worse, bro. Mm-hmm. And it's this weekend, I got to go to fucking Arizona to go to um, to the Cardinals and 49ers game and shit. And mm-hmm. I'm not neither one of their fans, but I'm just <laughs> going because my agent got me and the other um, guy that play in Grand Theft Auto. We supposed to be going because this big promoter, he's the big shot out there. Mm-hmm. He want to invite us there to meet the players and meet some people. And then Monday, we want to do a, a giveaway to uh, the children's hospital, the kids with cancer and all that type of stuff. So I said, well, if it's for something like that, yeah. I'm going to fight the pain and I'm going to go. Wow. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? And I'm paying out my own pocket mm-hmm. with it. You know oh, what damn. I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Right. I said, I'll That's just real do charity it on that shit. shit. Yeah, yeah, just yeah. giving my charity back, you know, end of the year doing my shit. I write the shit off, whatever it is. But, yeah, man, I deal with shit all the time. I didn't know you had bad pain like that, man. Shit, when you see yeah. me, bro. Yeah. In August, bro, I couldn't get up my stairs. I my my I legs, like, you, shut off. Mm-hmm. I saw you on your thing, the shit you was just dealing with. You was oh, going through that. I didn't know you machines. had it like that, though. Yeah. I, that's why I feel your pain, bro. I feel your fucking My pain, wife's bro. in the same boat right now with the she nerves. She has it bad, Like, the man. discs pressing on her nerves. She's been going for the shots. Didn't work. All the decompression shit, therapy not working. So, it's like. Nothing. Yeah, then we're you resort to-, to some medication, man. That's the only shit to take your mind from it. And it's a dangerous game to play, but fuck, we, we need it. We don't have we don't have nothing else. And they not gonna fix you, bro. I'm learning that now. Unless you go out of the country and get the shit done. Hmm. Or you go and find a like I found this doctor in Dallas. It's a black dude said, Man, come here and get fixed. Fuck this being a cash cow for the, these doctors, bro. They're not never going to fix you. They're going to put a band-aid, get you long enough to come back again, get another. Because every time you go under that knife, bro, that's 300000 350 that your insurance is paying. And then I got to pay my deductible. Yeah. And all. So it's why fix them when we can keep this shit going out? Imagine doing that shit with all the billions of people on the earth. Mm-hmm. It's a, it's a, yeah, yeah. It's a, I mean, I get it. I get why they would do it, but... 
every one of those people was a kid one day and go, Do you know you're gonna grow up to be a piece of shit? <laughs> that's why I would think, but how can you live? Yeah. That's that's terrible. So so at the end of the day, I don't I I I, I nag about the shit and I, I bitch about it sometimes. But all the shit I escaped through life, you know, growing up not supposed to make 18. First it was 16, 18, 21, 25. And I surpassed all of that shit. I didn't have kids. That kids didn't have kids. And, and still going married 27 years and still moving. How dare I complain? Mm. I could talk about it, but how yeah. dare do I fucking complain, bro? Deal with this pain. Mm-hmm. Just deal with it. It comes with what you what you just been dealing with all your life. Yeah. You just escaped it at a younger age. Now you at an age, you know what I'm saying, where you can try to figure a way yeah. to deal with it. You could have been in a wheelchair this whole I time. I could have been in I could have been dead. I could have been mm-hmm. in jail for life, bro. The shit my lifestyle, I could have been definitely dead or in jail for life, bro. Them two, it wasn't no other option when I was coming up, bro. I lived a fucking dangerous life, bro. I did. I did, bro. I'm telling you. I kept a fucking gun on me 24-7 in church, in the mall, in the grocery store. I didn't give a fuck because that's the life I live. When you out here peddling that shit, you have to. And you are a big wig at a young age. Like I told y'all in the last shit, I went through two kidnappings. Y'all don't know that feeling. You know, right now your fucking phone ringing. You, oh, I got to take this call, man. And a motherfucker answer the phone and say, man, how much you want to spend to get your wife back? Mm-hmm. It, it, you you take it as a joke like oh man it's a fucking wrong number and they call back again how much do you want to spend to get your fucking girl back like man then it just start registering hold on let me see something you call her job she's there every fucking day and you call her job she didn't make it in today she hasn't checked in or nothing reality starts setting in mm-hmm. this is real it's finally happening to you and this is when kidnapping was at an all-time fucking high in the streets of L.A. If you was any dude getting any kind of money, it was happening. And it happened to me twice. Fucking twice, bro. I mean, the first time it was my son's mother. We got her back with a little bit of confrontation. But when they found out who they was fucking with, they... It was a wild story in the book about the, the book. I don't know how much yeah. you want to... I don't know how much you want to get, but... Bro, the book is going to be a movie. I can see it already one day. Wow. I got somebody right now trying to, trying really? to do it. Yeah, this Asian dude that got a lot of uh, investors said they can go straight to Netflix with it. They want to. I watched that a shit scary, today. It's a scary thing to do, though. It's a touchy. It was scared to do that. It was mm-hmm. real scary to do just that. And that shit is watered down to like you take 100% and you dilute it and make it only 10%, bro. Mm-hmm. And that's still shaky. To oh, y'all. this was wild as hell. Of course, come but on. That's not. That's a tip of the iceberg, bro. So when you start talking about selling your life rights to these other people, mm-hmm. and they give you some money for it, I don't think my life rights is worth no amount of dollar, bro. Because the demons you open up, and the motherfuckers come to collect, and I don't want to open. Sometimes you just want to keep them closed, bro. And say, hey, I'm cool with life, bro. Nah, I don't want to do no no biopic and no. Whatever y'all talking about doing, you know what I'm saying? I actually turned this shit down day before yesterday. And they was like, well, can you just come on to this big podcast and blah, 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 and this and that? And I said, not to talk about that. Mm -hmm. What do y'all want me to talk about? And they was like, well, we want to talk about mental awareness and shit like that. But I know they trying to be slick. And I said, yeah, how much y'all going to pay me? And they want to throw some money. Okay, throw the money. But I'm going to come and I'm going to dictate how the interview go. Mm -hmm. Because you're not going to ask me about what you want to ask me about when it comes to my lifestyle. I gave you as much as I could out of it. Because you got that book was like this, bro. You had to cut it down, first. right? And I was telling my the writer, uh, Yusuf, that 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 um, that that we couldn't, we can't, we. It seems like you picked a couple of big stories. That's what it I felt like. Some highlights. Few some and, highlights. And cleaned them up. Yeah. And washed them. Got him in there. Got my attorney to look at it. Is that okay? He was like, because you should have seen it at first. He was like, oh, you're going to jail no, for this. this. Motherfuckers, boot your fucking door in tomorrow because you're saying some shit you shouldn't be saying, even though the statute of limitations over, but you just don't want to wake that up with other no, motherfuckers. Never. You know what I'm saying? So I was like, man, shit, we all been through something in our, life, in our lifestyles. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people from my age because we had no choice. We grew up 
and we had no choice, bro. We tried to work, you know. It just didn't work, bro. It mm-hmm. just wasn't working for the black community. And I grew up in the black community, not with no silver spoon, not with a gold spoon, not with a bronze spoon. I grew up eating with your hands, bro, in the hood, you know what I'm saying? And in, and in the projects and on the streets with your your best friends and shit who turns your enemies later on in life, you know what I'm saying? Because yeah. of this shit called crack. Crack fucked us all up, bro. It wasn't gangs. Crack made the gangs deadly. Gangs was cool. I remember being in the gang. We, we fucking fought. We did do a little shooting at each other, but we all went to school together. That's what's so crazy about it. We all fucking knew each other, bro. Mm. I'm from Watts. And we all knew each other all around it, from the back street crips to the east coast crips to the main street crips to the Broadway crips to the front street crips to the to the hat game watts to the third street to the seventh street grapes to the PJs to the Broadways to the Anthem Parks. But when the crack come in, you get so territory and so much money start hitting you, you start turning, you start going at each other. Mm-hmm. It's, it's a it's a it's a rat race, and then it turns into this crabs in the barrel type shit. Yeah, everybody pulling each other down. Mm-hmm. Somebody's trying to make it out. Watch out, motherfucker! I'm going yeah. instead of helping somebody get mm-hmm. out. So we just start. It was the drug era that really made that shit a lot, lot, lot worse. Don't get me wrong; it was bad before it. It was, it was violent shit. But violent shit went on in the history of life. Yes. Look at Al yeah. Capone and them back in the day. So don't just point the finger at us. Motherfuckers that, that this this is what I know for a fact. It's everything that's big today. All these restaurants, all these brands, cigarettes, alcohols, every fucking brand you can think of was built off of some criminal enterprise. Yep. Isn't that crazy? It's crazy, but it's true. It's very some true. motherfucker back in the 1920s and the 1800s was peddling, pushing, hustling, selling, killing, taking to build this franchise that is a, a, a Forbes company now. Mm-hmm. You feel what yeah. I'm saying? But when the fucking blacks start doing something, making a lot of fucking money, bro, it turns into, let's make this new case up. Let's make this 25 to life. Let's make this case up. Let's make this crack case up. You get caught with crack versus a a Kia powder cocaine. The crack is just the worst Mm -hmm. shit. Because you got a black motherfucker that done set up and said, man, let's take this, add a little, try that. (laughs) Oh, my God. Versus a party, you know, mm-hmm. yep. Potter was a party drug. I never did any of it, but it was, from what I know, it was a party drug. It it's a, a party drug, drug. And, the, a, and crack is like, yo, get out of this house. We got to get out of this place. Yeah, yeah. crack, crack, I, crack addicts. make your motherfucking ass go crazy. Because I dealt with them when I was young, bro. Mm-hmm. I used to have the police pull up, man, and just tell me. We gonna get you or we gonna kill you. And I used to say, fuck you, get the fuck out of here. Tell That's you that? I, bro, I didn't have I didn't That's have terrible. I didn't have police when I was young pull me over, bro, and tell me that, oh, you don't got nothing on you today, but um, blah blah blah. And I say, man, fuck you, man. You don't got no why you fuck on me. Shut your motherfucking ass up. I got a key of cocaine in the car right now. I put it on your ass and lock your ass mm. away from there. To where you get in tears and be like, Well, do it, motherfucker, and you crying. Because you notice the motherfucker looking you dead in your eyes telling you what he'll do to you. Because that's just the era we grew up in, man. I used to know the police personally by their name. They knew me. They knew all my aliases. (laughs) I had aliases. I come up in a time when you didn't need a license to drive. You can just jump in a fucking car and go, bro. Pull you over. You can tell them my name is Marty. Mm-hmm. Motherfuckers be like, well, Marty, you going to get a ticket for <laughs> speeding. Let me see you in court. You throw the motherfucker in the trash. Uh-huh. You know what I'm saying? So it's a fucked up situation, man. And I hate it, bro. I hate that, that, that you know, I had to come up in the, the fucked up part of it. I, mm-hmm. I, 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 I wish my shit would have been different. But like I said again, you know, when you, when you look at where you at now, is it worth all the pain and the suffering you went through? No. But would you change your life? No, no, I wouldn't. You know, I, 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 I don't think I wouldn't. Have, but I wouldn't want to go through that shit again. Yeah, sad. That's the first way, best way. Yeah. I wouldn't change it. I don't try to do it again. Yeah. But I don't want to do it again. But it's like you're not doing the biopic. But all those hard times just led you to the opportunities that help. You know, now how many people with the ripple effect of you just being out to the world like that? Yeah. Kind of, 
that in and of itself can make it worth it. Yeah, hell yeah, bro. You know, like you know, when when you when I was shooting Grand Theft Auto, man, it was like um, Rockstar to me, and I give Rockstar these praises, man, because they gave me something to change my life and change my life for the better and for good. I, I don't have to look back. I don't have to worry about doing certain things that I used to do because it just gave me a mentality of I have something to work for. And it wasn't like I was making a whole lot of money filming the game. I was making enough to pay my bills and stuff. But, dude, I was flying to New York, hanging around other cultures and other nationalities and getting to see what it feel like to be part of society outside of this society. Mm-hmm. You feel what yeah. I'm saying? Of just seeing your homeboys every day, riding motorcycles, robbing, stealing, killing. Cause that, And I hate to put that stigma on my homeboys and my culture and my my peers and shit, but that's a lot of us was doing that a lot. Like probably 75% of us was still in the streets, hustling, taking, figuring a way out. And I don't knock them. I don't like none of my homeboys for doing what they were doing. You know what I'm saying? Some of us made it out and, and did good shit with life, man. You know, start trucking companies, bought property, um, build property, just went and moved on, you know, and some of them went and got professional jobs and, and they did better in their life. You know what I'm saying? And they, and they doing good now and I'm happy for them. But a lot of us stuck was stuck, bro. So when I got with, with, with rockstar, man, like I told you, man, they, 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 <laughs> they helped me out of a situation that I felt indebted to them. Like, you know, I was telling y'all off records, man, you know, I was dealing with something um, legal wise and uh, facing time and they they gave me a better route bro mm. they came and gave me a second chance at getting my shit together and then you know you start looking at your wife and your kids and you start weighing the options fast money slow good money mm. safe come home to your family this is ain't guaranteed over here definitely not guaranteed you can come back in a body bag or you can come back with handcuffs on, you know what I'm saying? Or you can go do something that a karma would chase you down and will catch you eventually. So I just said, you know what? Let me go and work for this company and film this fucking so-called game that they tricked me with. <laughs> you fucking rock star, man. But I love y'all, man. They uh, told me the game was called Paradise. You said for what? Months, right? Oh, no, a, a year. year. About a year, bro. <laughs> I, I can't honestly say... A solid year or or longer than a year, but it was long as a motherfucker that I thought I was filming something else. And Why so secretive though? Oh, come on, dog. That's fucking rock star, man. That's how they move. But if, a if year, they, not telling you, you're in the you're the, you're the star. It, it's it's none of us. It wasn't just me. It it was the other guy, Ned, Steven, everybody on set. Everybody that was on set working and filming, they didn't know what they were filming, man. They was just like, we're doing a fucking video game. So I was like the main one, but it was like, hey, man, I'm getting more of an enjoyment leaving L.A. for three weeks, living in a nice hotel. They taking care of me. I'm getting fed three good, solid, good meals a day, and I'm getting paid by the, the rate, the good rate that they were giving me per day. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. For 21 days straight, weekends off, jump on the subway, act like a New York guy, go to Harlem, hang out, do a little shopping, and 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 try to live by their culture, meeting new friends and yeah. shit. Coming back home, like, man, get to come home for two weeks, be with the family. Now you done made a check to pay the bills and pay the rent, pay everything, go to the movies, go eat good meals while you're home. Then, hey, you get that phone call back. It's time to come back to work. Yeah. It was a repetitive thing for three years, and it was a great thing for me. It was a fucking, de- it was one of the best things to ever happen to me in 2010. 2010. It came out 13. 11. Yeah, we worked yeah. on it for about three years, three and a half years. <laughs> mm-hmm. And it was the best thing for me, dog. Got Look perspective at, outside of LA. Yeah, hell yeah. Look at me wild, today, bro. Huh? Going there and seeing things bigger than you. Like, wow, it's bigger than just LA. It's, it's bigger than just LA. <sighs> just being on the plane, being in first class, just 
feeling important in life. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You flying back and forth in first class. You ain't got to walk past first class no more and look at the people doing their nose like, yeah, get it, get in the back. Boy. <laughs> get your ass to the back, boy. Nah, you like scoot over. Watch out. <laughs> oh, fuck it. Uh -huh. Yeah. You know, so um, it was a great thing, man. So, um, you know, Rockstar, man, they... They, 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 it was a game changer for me, man. They changed mm -hmm. my life, man. They made my life just feel like a purpose was added to it. So it made me get more like, it made me love living a little bit more, bro. That's a mm -hmm. gift right there. It's crazy That's to crazy, say that, yeah. but it's true to say it because now you, you doing something. Cause by that time I done found out it's Grand Theft Auto. Now it's like, man. I wow. can't wait till this to come out. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I'm part of this shit, you know? So and you're like the rags to riches story within it. I was realizing that this morning when I was like researching and stuff, like you're the one that starts off poor and comes up. Like Michael's already up. Trevor could give a shit. You represented that within the game. Yeah. And if you look at Franklin's story in the game, I never understood his story in the game because he was, <sighs> He never was able to be confrontational, you know. Now, I say this all the time that Rockstar gave me a little leeway to be me, to let me be the gangster that I was or, or tie a little bit of my street shit into Franklin. But they wouldn't let me be who I really am in the streets. I'm a fucking fighter, bro. I'm I'm a alpha male. I'm with all the bullshit. I don't step back from nobody. I don't run from nobody. I don't fear nothing. But they didn't let me do that in the game. So it was frustrating. It was hard for me to get into the Franklin role for a while because I never could be like, shut up, motherfucker, when Trevor's saying something to me. Shut your ass up or I knock your ass out. No, cut. Solo, no. <laughs> <laughs> no. We want you to let Trevor be the aggressor. Oh, I understand. You just yeah, say, yeah, yeah. you just be like, all right, man, I, I like this. Like I didn't even really, think about it when you said that. You're, com you're completely right. Yeah. In the cuts, I know exactly what scene you're talking I, about. I, I got to be, but I have to be, I, in that whole thing, I had to be the peacemaker and the nah, 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 yeah. nah, 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 chill out, man. Mm -hmm. The only person I had a little bucking up with was my compadre, man, my, bo my boy, Lamar, yeah. man. Yeah. They let me, man, shut your stupid ass up, yeah. man. But he, he still outpowered me. You know, he was yeah, still yeah. the aggressor. In the shit talking. Nigga, I'm the, <laughs> shut up, nigga, I'm a patchy blood in me, nigga. I'll tomahawk <laughs> your ass. And no, I just be like, ah, oh, yeah, whatever, man. Like the scene when he did that that went viral. I yeah. posted it on yeah. my TikTok, How man. Random. 13 million views, bro. How, Come like, on, The man. BTS shot goes That's what I was telling you. Viral. That's what I was trying to tell you. The BTS of it, it's like, no, this is real. It's it's different. It's like it's like pressing select in GT and you go, Bing. Yeah, he was telling me that. Yeah. And you just watch it from a little farther. That's why it went viral. Everybody went, this is real life. 13.4 million views in four days on that clip. <laughs> That's TikTok. fucking crazy, That's bro. That's crazy. Bro. It went. And you just started still, your TikTok. Yeah, you just started, and it's still growing. I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> so you know, th just the scenes with me and him, man. It was so, it was so iconic. You know, Slink had got into some trouble in the middle of shooting Grand Theft Auto, man, and um, and he almost, I don't, I, I can't say almost because I don't know what the, the, the powers that be behind me, the, the top dogs were really contemplating and thinking on how to maneuver around his issue because he had got into a little uh, legal trouble and he couldn't make it on set so we can finish oh. doing our shit. But I kind of talked to them and let them know it's, it's a gun case, man. He will get out soon. So they kind of like helped with him situation to get him out a little faster. But I kind of owe Slink... Um, and when I see him, I'm going to give him a hug for this shit. Because when he got in trouble, to me, this is me thinking, honestly thinking. I think Franklin was was able to have get written in a bunch of more shit. Mm. Because it put a pause on Franklin and Lamar shit. So if you look at it now, Franklin is, is interacting with fucking everybody. Main person. Yeah. Well, that's why I say he's kind game. of like the more. He's not the main character. I get it. You could press and get all three guys no kind of is the main character he's though kind of the main he character. is though yeah because yeah. he deals with everybody lester 
Devin Weston, Trevor, mm -hmm. Michael. Yeah, that Moore. is true. It's all hubbed like that. Around yeah, there. yeah. And so, we start off. Yeah, and look at the mm -hmm. missions. He, Franklin, go and assassinate everybody for uh, Lester. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And he's stopping Michael and Trevor from always getting into it with each other, getting in the middle of them. Hey, chill the fuck out, mm -hmm. man. Is we going to do this shit? All right, well, we going to do it. You go over there. I'm going to go over here. You know, it's it's mm -hmm. like, it's, it's, it, it's when you look at it, because I used to ask the director, man, I used to say, man, come on, man, let me open up. Let me be me for a chance in this motherfucker, man. Let me be a little bit more me, because they was letting me be me at some point. But let me be a little bit more me. Let me be that street motherfucker, that tough motherfucker at some point. Solo, because he was a British, British guy. Solo. <laughs> come on, chill. <laughs> You're going to like how the story turned out. And mm -hmm. I just like, Oh, because you right, don't man. know, because you only get pieces of script in time. I don't know time. shit. I don't know what the fuck. I get why they're secretive. Yeah. What if you're drunk one night at a bar? I'm like, bitch, you know what happens? I'm going to win yeah. in the end. Mm, oh, yeah. I get it. I, get I it. don't get killed. Yeah, yep. I don't get killed in the end. <laughs> oh. It's Michael, Trevor, or, or nobody. A, B, or C. Oh. I, they don't kill me. I'm oh. Franklin. I'm voicing yeah. this new gang card. So it's so I secretive. NDAs on top of NDAs. Uh -huh. And and I understand why they're doing it because if you look at this, people always want to ask me a bunch about, because y'all going to ask me about six, and I know it. But it's you can't say none these motherfuckers is investing a lot of fucking money and time and effort into making one of the most prestige top games in the life. the biggest see what i'm saying yeah, it's the biggest game ever see what i'm saying so that's how they are they real top mm -hmm. secret they stealth like i tell people they they just like they just sitting over you like a stealth plane man and they just making sure you're not doing nothing to jeopardize their investment mm. You know what I'm saying? Wow. So your paperwork, that NDA holds over your fucking head. You can mm -hmm. you can get sued. You can be in trouble. And you, yeah. and you can't win against them. No, they'll yeah. take you to court for, for 18 Ever. years straight. And, and you'll, you'll be money. broke. You'll lose Done. your house. You'll lose everything. And they ain't paying you no more. They ain't giving you no more money. So, you know, it's just being smart. And it's being a, a team member. You know, and that's what ended up happening with me and Rockstar, man. We, we end up turning into a, a, a great relationship between us. You know, whether... Whether, however, it turns out in the end, in the in the end of it, with me or whatever, we just we tied in, we locked in. Mm -hmm. I know they care about me. I know they care about me, and I care about them personally. Some of them, person, I don't know them all, but I know some of the main ones, and I can talk to them on the phone. I can shoot them a text, or I can say, "Hey, give me a call," because I know they're busy, but they will call back. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And they and they always looking out for me. They keeping me doing something, some type of work. At the end of the day, I I want to work for them. I want to. Yeah, of course. Hey, do y'all have any kind of job that I can be employed in to help? Maybe I can help with the helping people on that lingo of talking, mm. like a N I G G A. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I can teach them how to be hood. I can do this. Or I can scout what y'all looking for. Basically, that, what DJ Pooh is doing, what grabbing DJ you guys. Is, yeah, because yeah. DJ Pooh, he's man, that dude, boy. He's a grinder, man. He's, He's not stop, man. Fucking Come on. grinder, man. Mm -hmm. You know he 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 got some shit on the table right now that um I think the approval came to watch um a TV series. Sick. No and shit. We finna we finna shoot a TV series to the watch, man. So they bringing us back. I think Snoop and Dre might be coming wow. back, and but I know me That's and him wild. for sure. And it's gonna be room for other people. Y'all, some coming into the watch yeah, type yeah. shit. You know, <laughs> new people. But it's yeah. a TV series, so it can keep going. Episode this, episode that, season two, season three. So he 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 keep DJ Pooh keeps his fucking hand and his brain working. And sometimes I get a little upset with him because, but he just been this way all the time. Like he he uh, he, he's always too busy for himself. Mm. He's fucking too busy for himself. It's like I want to tell Rockstar, hey, look, just pay me to babysit Pooh and keep him on track. Because he don't intentionally not return calls or not show up to meetings or not be on point. He's his his brain, man. I'm talking about this dude can jump on the phone right now. Hey, give me five minutes, man. Let me. I gotta take this important call, and he will fuck around, take off walking, and be on the 110 freeway just walking, fucking by himself on the phone, bro. I'm, t I'm telling you, he get lost. 
And you gotta go and find him. Oh, hey, shit. bro, we all waiting to film. Oh shit. Uh, I, I gotta call you right back. Oh yeah, the director. <laughs> I wrote this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So so yeah. And um yes, he's a he's a he's a hard worker, man. He's a blessed man. He's a blessing to a lot of people. Um, I, I owe him enough. I, that's why I always give him his flowers on all my interviews, man. I always big him. Just give him all his praise, man, because He's never selfish. He's always the opportunities are for anybody. If you're around him or anything and you he going to give you an opportunity. It ain't a guarantee you'll get it, but he's going to give you the opportunity. Man, read for it. Come on, dog. Hey, come up here today. We doing this. Come, come. And a lot of us that were close around him ended up, you know, doing some shit off of his coattail. So I give him his flowers all the time, man. And Pooh know how I feel about him. You know, you know, we, it's a mutual love between us. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And um, since the '80s, he's been connecting dots and making shit happen. It seems like, like and do they need now? You talking about a biopic? A movie? Yeah. Do a movie? Do a biopic on DJ Pooh? Mm -hmm. People be surprised just going like looking at his credentials. Like, wait, what? Oh my, what? God. You did it, LL Cool J. I, I, like you said, it like he's the West people. Coast Spike Lee. That's what you said last time. He's the West Coast Spike Lee, but he's also the West Coast, um, like DJ Premier or some shit, bro. Because mm -hmm. his hands is tied in with every big artist that's out: Tupac, Snoop, Dre, Cube, Mac Ten, Dub C, Cam. You just MC anybody that's a rapper, Putin did some music yeah. for them. He done produced songs and songs on top of songs. His voice is on everything. King T, you know, him and King T was like this. If you look at the first King T album, DJ Pooh, King T, right there <laughs> together. Pooh, he's, he's a legend, man. He's a fucking legend on top of a legend to me, man. And he don't get his enough praise, man. And I don't think, and the reason he don't get it, he get it, but I don't think he he get it like he should get it. Like he should be getting an award at one of these, you know, them legendary awards, yes. them lifetime achievement award. I, I would love to see them do him like that. Because he 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 don't ask for it. Mm -hmm. He don't He's ask working. nobody for nothing, man. Yeah. He don't ask nobody for shit. And when he do ask because he really need it. You know? If he call you and say, I need you, man, and I need this and I need mm -hmm. I need some help, yeah. get off your ass and give it to him. Girl, yeah. Because sure. trust me, it's he's big. gonna, yeah. he's gonna, it's gonna, it's gonna, it's a good investment. Mm -hmm. DJ Pooh wore Push Trees outfit on the first Dr. Dre podcast like nine years ago and never even asked him. Oh, what? Shit. Like I never even asked him. He just sent me a text. I'll check it out. Go, yeah. <laughs> what the hell is that? By the way, here's a paper you got to sign for Apple Music so you can, I can wear it. Yeah, yeah, it's like, yeah. Yo, I love you, man. I even asked you, dude. <laughs> like shit like that. I knew you for six months. Small, I chill with you and like. You wore it on the Dr. Dre show. I love you, man. Yeah. So sit like that. Like, bro, you didn't have to do that for me. Yeah. At all. You did not have to do that for me. You did. Yeah, Pooh is that kind of guy, man. I like that him, kind man. of guy. He's man. always going to be cool. Him. He's I always going to be cool, death, man. man. I love him. There's nothing I wouldn't do for him. Nothing. I'm being honest with you, man. I can look a motherfucker in the face, man. If he... <laughs> I don't give a fuck if the police looking or not. If he called a hit in, I'm going, bro. I'm putting mine on the line for that dude because he's he's that's my guy. I love him to death, man. So it is what it is. Mm -hmm. And for somebody that's so comfortable behind the scenes, like you're saying, it's like a lot of people might not even be aware of this. You got to really like let the world know about it because he's not trying to be a superstar. And that's why I give him his flowers all the time. So wake your minds up to what he's actually done. Mm -hmm. You know, one of the most iconic. Um, um, Hood Classics Friday co-wrote that with Ice Cube, man. You know what I'm saying? It's crazy, yeah. bro. Wow. He wasn't just in it talking about this is my grandmama chain yeah. and, uh, and and acting like he was acting. No. He was Cold. a Tarantino of the show. Yeah. Yeah. His vision is, is crazy as hell. It's mm. funny. <laughs> yeah. It's crazy, but it's funny. I used to always say, man, man, we, I used to be thinking in my head, man, when you going to do a fucking serious movie? But... Who, his vision. who just liked to make people laugh, man? Yeah. He just wanted good at to keep it, man. People happy. <laughs> <laughs> Do it for thirty five years. Yeah, I don't think. I don't think. I think he a fuck uh, Denzel Washington and um and um um Morgan Freeman and um Samuel Jackson. He fucked them up, man, because he had them doing funny shit. <laughs> oh, <laughs> he won't, I got you. I got you. <laughs> he won't keep them serious. He had them up. I just realized there's never been a funny Denzel movie. It never, <laughs> right. never. Right. 
There's yeah. always a somehow. Same guy. Holy shit! You, there's no, there is no comedy. Nah, no. he always. And I think it do great because people be hyped and ready for that. Yeah, yeah. Uh, there's uh, always a you know set something down real yeah. nice. <laughs> And you got you got ten minutes. To me I was answer. wondering, like, what are you doing? This rubber band will be in your heart. <laughs> You'd be like, what the fuck? And somehow he'll grab you and, and, and it will be so. in your heart. Man. So he never, Equalizer. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, you know, that's like he's Denzel, one of my my uh, all time favorite um, actors. Man, I I would love to boy, if somebody was to call and say, hey, you want to be in a Denzel Washington movie, man? I would lose my fucking mind, bro. What's your, it's what's coming, your favorite man. movie from home? It's uh, coming. God willing. Huh? What's your favorite Denzel movie? Uh, man on Fire, man. Mm, it's a mm, good movie. That's a that fucking did. cold ass. It's a, it's a good movie, movie bro. Well, and then and then you, it, it, I just do Man on Fire because that's something I can watch over and over yeah. and over. But you can watch all the Denzel shit over and over. Book of Eli, everything. You can just watch everything. Man Ooh, in the Blue Dread. Uh, 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 you know, the de- the devil in the, what is the devil in the blue dress? Lady in the blue dress, whatever with him and um, I haven't seen that. Don Cheetah. Oh, man. Don you got to do, your, you gotta no. do your motherfucking history. On I haven't Denzel, seen that man. one. Oh, you tripping, bro. Oh, I missed Denzel, that one. Denzel got some shit, man. So you can basically just take all his movies and just be on a flight going to fucking... <laughs> Brazil or yeah. China, a twenty some hour flight, mm-hmm. bro, and he'll get you to there yep. wow. and get you back home mm-hmm. where you won't even know you on the fucking plane. I hate the mm-hmm. planes. Bro. I hate them motherfuckers. I watched Princess boy. Bride Nacho. I was just watching funny ass shit. And the bitch next to me wouldn't put a window up. I'm like, come on, bitch, it's nighttime. Put that shit up. Yeah. I hate people when they do. I wanna look. I'm like, what are you looking at? <laughs> Death and shit. Yeah, I hate scares the I can't do it. I hate them. We were talking about it recently. Like every time I get on a plane, I make sure I'm like, all right, there's at least one white lady working here. We're good. They yeah. didn't want to take this plane down with you on it. Yeah, yeah, man. Oh, it's, it's all Puerto Rican ladies. Oh, damn it. All Mexicans. Oh, we're dead. We're going down. Damn it, dude. <laughs> I'll be doing that same shit, man. I'll be looking at people come on here yep. like, like, oh, no, no, get off. Get him like, off. Which one of you motherfuckers has got the Grim Reaper on your shoulder? Mm, shit, because for real. I'm going to ask your ass to get the fuck up off mm-hmm. of here, man. But, I don't care if I cause a scene. I'll run off the fucking And then plane. they try to tell you, you know, a plane is the safest, it's safer than a car. It's easy for you to say that. Yeah, thank you. The motherfucking air going. Yeah. Uh, it's just a little turbulence, and you be like, oh my God, man. They be boom, turn your seat better. I'm not putting this motherfucker on shit. You crazy. We talk about this every episode. I know man. we do. We Damn, I just got fire. off a plane, so I'm like, uh, <laughs> yeah, man. I hate it. I, I hate it. I got to get on one uh, Saturday, man. And I, oh, to, to just to Arizona, Arizona, Arizona man. We, I want to, I'll be wanting to drive. I said, man, I might jump in my shit. To Arizona? Let's do it. Remember, it's we not didn't that even bad. talk about the co pilot to try to take down the plane and they had to yoke Bro, him out did you like see that? Ago. No. Co pilot tried to like take down the pilot so he could take the plane down mid air on Southwest out of here, man. two weeks ago. He's getting charged what? with 187 counts of attempted murder. He tried to take the plane down, bro. Oh, he tried to like get the fool, like subdue him. Type yeah, of everybody shit. had to like choke him out and take him down. What? I would have killed his ass. I would have choked him. Like, oh, he died. For sure. Oh, he's fighting what? to keep the plane in there. Oh, I didn't. I didn't hear dead. about that. Yeah. Good. <laughs> yeah, I might drive, man. Right? I might say fuck it. No my, lie, my back gonna hurt <laughs> yeah. like a motherfucker. We were in Vegas, and I don't feel like flying. And I tried to get a car to drive back, and they're like out of state, we can't give you the ID. And went. All right, I tried, man. I fucking tried. Cause I don't feel. I don't know why. I just didn't feel like flying. I think I'm, I'm, I'm thinking about driving to Arizona. Now, just put your man. Tesla and just. Yeah, I'm thinking about driving Ties down up. there, man. Mm. Just just to relax, man. But you uh-huh. know, sitting for so long, hey, you're back. It stiffens up. But yep. mm-hmm. hey, I just probably make it a trip. You know what I'm saying? Just yeah. leave early, make a stop, get out, stretch. Mm-hmm. Get some air, chill for a minute. That drive to Arizona is sick. I don't know if you ever did it, but yeah, they got- I used to drive to Tucson. My daughter went to U of A, so mm. oh, so you've been back and forth, yeah. Mm-hmm. Pass, pass where I gotta go. Two hours past it, I gotta go to Phoenix. So mm-hmm. Tucson is two more hours past it. So not too bad. It was like a four hour trip, five hour trip. It's about a four four hour trip, five four and a half. It's not like Vegas. Yeah, Driving it's to Vegas, Vegas. yeah. What's up, guys? Merry Christmas from Marty and I and everybody here at Dope As Usual Podcast. Shout out to Raw Papers for sending me the coolest, ugly Christmas sweater I have ever seen. It is Christmas. Thank you so much for Raw being the official sponsors of 2023 going into 2024. This is just a match made in heaven. This is perfect. We smoke Raw every day and we can give stuff back to the fans. This is perfect. Remember, it is Christmas. Get your stocking stuffers. Go to rawauthentic.com. See every single product they have or go to your local smoke shop. Grab some trays. Grab some papers. Right now, do us a favor. Go drop. Merry 
Merry Christmas from Dope As Usual Podcast. Go to Raw Life 247 on Instagram. Let them know you saw them here on the Dope As Usual Podcast. And if you ran out of Raws, go to your local smoke shop. Any smoke shop in the world carries Raw damn near. Raw is the official rolling paper of the Dope As Usual Podcast. Thank you to Raws. Thank you to Josh. We'll have Josh back here on the uh, podcast as soon as he comes to LA. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for supporting. And remember, rawauthentic.com, endless endless products endless information just go check it out so let's get back to this super epic gta 6 episode thank you for watching how was the uh reaction to this release because last time we saw you mm -hmm. you're like this is the first copy it's about to come I'm out about to come out yeah how did this go Cause we, it, i mean i've talked to you i see you i'll talk to you but i'm not like hey so how do you feel about your book release <laughs> we're just yeah. chilling at your house like I it's feel, different it, it did good man it book is still selling that's what's so crazy it's still i just looked today and it was like more deposits and i'm like damn like it's still doing an average i think of about a hundred books a month or something nice like dude still, but the first week it came out it just killed it just were you nervous were you dying inside when it came out or were you excited no i was regretful why because i was thinking i i i done released my i'm private i'm real private bro oh, and i don't release everything to the world yeah because they say when you do something you, you in this time we live in now you can't get it back yeah. you can't snatch it back it's, Can of worms it's gone you type something in instagram boom it, you can't go no oh, instagram hey take that over. out of there and take it out of everybody's phone it's, it's over bro you know you can't say like interviews you can think back on them and say hey 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 marty hey y'all hey take this don't yeah, you take that, that clip out yeah please. don't yeah, put yeah, that yeah, in yeah. there bro i don't want that in there um but when you that right there bro so it's 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 things it was it's things in there that to me i didn't really want to put out but this motherfucking dude that dude you said right there mm -hmm. he was like a fucking psychiatrist or some shit like i used to sit it was covid time and you couldn't leave the house so i used to just sit out in the backyard by the pool at my other house and just relax and he'd be in the headphones so okay solo so Close your eyes and let's go back in. So Whoa. when you was this age and you just, like you spilling the beans. Yeah. And then you open your eyes. Hey, man, did I say I shot that dude, man? Hey, take that shit back. Don't put that in there, bro. You like, man, I got you, bro. Just don't, you know. But it was similar to some shit like that. Mm -hmm. Things I was saying that I regret that I did. So sometimes I'd be like, damn, did I slip? God, you're kind of bringing it back out. Mm -hmm. It's not a good thing. It's not a good thing, bro. It don't feel good. People, the outside people, y'all will be like, man, we want to hear your story. Yeah. But the inside of me be like, I want to tell y'all, but you might not like me in this part. Or you might not like this part of me or this time frame mm -hmm. of me. You know, don't don't look up to my gangster side or my drug dealing side. All that shit. I wish I didn't have to do, but I did, you know, try to find the beauty out of that book. And a lot of people read it and say it's an easy read, quick read, yeah. and it gets to the pages. point. I had people say they cried at one spot. Bro, it was, people, it yeah, was it was really sad. sad the man. beginning yeah, of the lot of it was really fucking sad. Yeah, so uh, I, it was hard for me to open up about that because my sister, which is that is her father that was doing that to me. She never knew because she was a kid. She was a baby. If you remember, I said my yeah, little, little sister. sister. And I never told her. She just found out because oh, of the book. Oh, shit. So that's what I tell you. I was like. And she like, oh, my God, I didn't never know. I never knew. And she's grown with three kids and everything. She never knew. I never told her. My mom never said nothing. My mom took it to the grave with her. So, like I said, there's things in there that you wish, I wish I would have kept. The way that you met your biological dad is the most insane thing I've ever Crazy, heard. Crazy, huh? Well, that I, I pressed what pause a, and rewound it. I, like, I, I, there's yeah, no like way I, I heard what I heard right now. I did the same thing. I must, <laughs> must have misunderstood. Oh, the, the, the audio book on Audible. Oh, I love yeah, it, man. I love that you're you're yeah. the one doing it, too. The sound yeah. effects. The sound, yeah. everything. Is, yeah. It's great, yeah. man. It's great. <laughs> hey, that dude Yusuf did that, man. He put that together. He did a good job, man. man. He's sharp, man. He did a good job. He did a great job with it. But that meeting that man you know it it was it was numb to me man you know it was like who the fuck is he who the fuck is this dude you know and um because he wasn't near it wasn't no love mm -hmm. you know yeah you fathered me with my mom but my mom was a kid you know my mom had me when she was young she had me when she was like 15 mm -hmm. so me and my mom always had like a brother uh, sister right yeah man yeah. Mm -hmm. like i used to 
argue back with her, buck heads with her, mm -hmm. but I loved her to death. You know, I, 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 I hustled in the streets to make sure she had a good life. You know what I'm saying? Because mm -hmm. I watched her as a kid go through the things she went through, being on drugs and cigarettes and pills and dating different mans. You know what I'm saying? And I'm seeing this and witnessing this shit as a kid. You know what I mean? So I just felt I owed that to her because that's the kind of guy I am. I'm a protector and a provider. It's just in my DNA to be that kind of dude. So I just bought her, you know, I hustled enough money to move her out of the hood and, you know, get her into her first little like town home. And then after that, I start making more money running the streets and shit, doing what I was doing. And I bought her her first home, you know what I'm saying? And it's a lot of young men at 17, 18 that have, that might have did that, but I can yeah. contest that I fucking did it. And yeah. I'm proud that I did it to it's where, like a yeah, to where yeah. she can, she at one point could have said, you know, I owned a home coming from a, a poverty stricken area in Watts where there was food stamps, hard ass cheese, all of this shit. I owned a home with a swimming pool, had a new car, refrigerator full, furniture, front yard, birds in the backyard in a good neighborhood. Next door neighbor is a, is, is a white guy. Another one is a, a Brazilian guy in multicultural neighborhood. You know what I'm saying? And not just in the hood. Fucking ambulance and fucking helicopters all day. You know, and I just felt I owed that to her because I brought a lot of pain to her also, man. You know, I could have lost her and my sister, if you, if you remember in the book, yeah. where the dudes try to kick the dough in mm -hmm. because of the things that I was doing. doing. I brought these um, dudes to my motherfucking doorstep, you know what I'm saying, trying to kick the dough in. Because if, if it was God's will to open that door, man, to let that one fucking screw open that door, they Lord knows what they would have did to us. They probably would have massacred us all. Yeah. Cause Especially I don't at know, that time you said too Yeah I don't know who it was trying to come in there Could have been my own homies And them are the worst motherfuckers to come and rob you It's motherfucker you know Cause he's going to kill you Cause he has to You know my voice you seen me I can't just rob you and say Alright have a good day homeboy You know I, you know I love you and get the fuck on yeah. And we be cool Oh, I'm gonna come and, and, and do some terrible things to you So it, it was like it was good that they wasn't able to get in there and it was good I woke up that was when I started around that time I, that's when I started my drug addiction really that, I, that back, I was in the room far? yeah from a toothache it started from a toothache <sighs> and I was on back then they didn't have the shit they have now they had Tylenol with codeine oh wait you that's did, all you did they say had. this yeah you told me that that's all they had back then bro <sighs> so I was in the bed sleep, me and my cousin, because we all stayed in the one room, me and two of my cousins, one of them from 60 Crip, other one from the same hood as me. And um, we were all knocked out because we took Todd in our threes and we was up oh, in that motherfucker shit. knocked out. But the yeah. crazy part about it, we were in bunk beds. We had two mm -hmm. sets of bunk beds in the room and I used to sleep at the bottom one. And a bunk bed is up here. And I used to have this gun. It was a fully Uzi, man, and it had a, a, a hook on there. And I used to just hang it right there at the bottom of it and sleep. And I and all and when you sleep and somebody is boom, boom, trying to kick the door in, boom, but in your sleep, you making that something else. Yep. You making so it weird. You doing something door, in the yeah. in the dream, yeah. In your dream, boom. But all I kept hearing my mom like, I'm trying to open it. Please stop. It's the fucking police open the fucking door. And they kind of like, police. You know, wake up. Hey, 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 nigga. Wake up, wake up. Police nigga, we panicking the police raiding the house. And then this dude said, bitch, open the fucking door now. It just ding. didn't work. Wait a minute now. Mm -hmm. Boom. Clack, clack. He clack, 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 clack. We run. Come here, come here, come here, come here. Told my mama and my sister, get up. My sister was a little girl. Told my mama, come here, come here, come here. She was in her robe. They tried to catch us off guard. Come, come, come. Go in the bathroom. Now, this is a tiny ass fucking house. This motherfucking house had to have been about. 800 square feet, bro. Like a, a master bedroom size, bro. We was packed in there. This is in the hood. And come in the bathroom. And she come in the bathroom, her and my sister, because I was going to protect them with everything I had. And my cousin, it was Christmas time, and the lights was blinking. <sighs> my mom used to have them old, big-ass lights that uh -huh. used to blink yeah. outside on the window. You just tape them up there, put a nail. And he looked out the blind and said, there's some niggas. 
And my dumb ass just tried to, the door opened this way. I tried, I kicked that motherfucker that way, like off the thing and ran out to that motherfucker and just da da da. But I was busting like a mob. I was trying to get their ass because I was just that angry. Like, I want to shoot one of you motherfuckers so I can pull your mask off and see who the fuck you is. And I couldn't. Ugh. They got away. They was hauling ass though because they knew. They knew I was fucking coming because I was crazy as all I do. So they wanted to catch me off guard. And they was going to do something bad to me, bro. I promise you that. I, 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 I know it in all my soul, bro, because at that time, that's what was happening. They were killing dudes, kidnapping them, killing them, doing shit, getting the money. You know what I'm saying? So, um, yeah, so I owed that to my mom for putting her through all of that shit that I was doing as a kid. And me and my brother was putting my mama through a lot of shit. My brother, 10 times worse than me. Damn. 10 times oh worse than me. Oh, my God. Bro. Ten times worse. Was than she me. fully aware of what was going on? Yeah, yeah. yeah. She was fully aware of all. I, I and mean, your grandma was, was for sure. My She's like, sell too. it where I can see you. Yeah. yeah, they were just all aware of it, man, and they just let us do what we wanted to do, man. That was the time right there, around that time. That was the house I was in. This one? Yeah. Oh, it's a Christmas tree behind you, right there. Yeah, that was the time. Oh. <laughs> that was like that was days before that. Oh wow. my god! That's the person I was right there. That's crazy, huh? Wow. Yeah. A literal Christmas tree right behind your head. Mm -hmm. And the awesome. window to the left. And the crazy part about it is this picture right here, down below, that's me. That's my cousin right there. This little nigga name was Terry. He was from my hood, too. But the two dudes that, it was two dudes standing there with their backs. I cut them out. It was two dudes with their back to it because they never showed their face because they was like some real hitters. Kind of find out them two motherfuckers was the ones that... <laughs> They both your dead house? now. Yeah. They both dead. Yeah. So you were right, though. If they got in, it would have been over. They were straight killers. They was with the bullshit. No no remorse. Like, <laughs> I used to hear them talking, man. And, I, like, I always had a, a heart when I was gangbanging. Like, man, we not doing nothing to no kids, no older people, no none of that shit. No innocent people, bro. These niggas shot at us. Let's go over there and fuck their ass up or shoot their ass. They shot at us. These niggas just be like, nah, nigga, we killing everybody. And I used to be like, like, nigga, I want to put a bullet in the back of your motherfucking head because you so demonic. You know what I'm saying? So I used to be like, nah, I ain't, I ain't going with you motherfuckers. Fuck y'all. You know, you can call me a buster. You can call me whatever you want. No, but I'm not going being. in for that, yeah. motherfucker. And then if I found out that you did do something like that way, you're going to see what kind of buster I am. You know what I'm saying? So, but it, it was a fucked up times, man. Like I said, money made us childhood friends and cousins turn on each other we turned on each other for that dollar you know what i mean money is pure fucking evil it's evil man it's evil but they made it where necessary <laughs> we, it, it's a necessity what is it what you say it's a necessary evil and money is facts money. you can take you can take over the planet with it yeah <laughs> everything we do nowadays is a monetization type of situation you know Anything we do, we trying to monetize yeah. because we have to pay for shit. You know, y'all got to pay for this motherfucking building. Y'all got to pay for all the shit you spend, the time, the effort. I got to pay for shit. Mm -hmm. So everything that we try to do, we try to monetize it to take care of things that we do and take care of somewhat of our lifestyle. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Help That's why I feel so out. lucky because it's like I get to do what I want to do and do that. Hell yeah. That's the whole point that we try to put out to people to figure out what that is for you. That's a blessing, bro. Hell yeah. yeah. Even if you gotta do some stupid shit you don't like to do and just suck it up so you can do your dope Ten years shit. from now. Hell yeah. Hell Everybody yeah, thinks bro. 20 is forever. I promise you, you're gonna be 30 and go, for, thank God I've been working for 10 years. So, yeah. Whew, and no get it out. I haven't been. And y'all gotta get it out, man. Get what y'all can get now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But I'm gonna tell y'all this, bro. Don't don't hang in this shit. You set a set a bar, man. Get it, get it, get it, get it. Move on, man, and relax and retire. Don't be no motherfucking podcasters at 55, 60 years old still doing it because you, you do have a show still moving and making money. Mm -hmm. No, turn it over to some motherfuckers. Own it. Y'all get the fuck out. Go live the rest of whatever life yeah. you have left. Don't sit here and wither away chasing this shit. This is cool now. But don't spend your whole fucking life. Retire at some point. Yeah. And that's yeah. the problem with a lot of people. They don't retire. In this new world we live in with these phones and these internets and these platforms, it won't let you retire because you addicted. We all addicted to mm -hmm. grabbing these fucking phones. You see it. Yeah. People walking up the street, driving in cars and traffic, 
looking at Instagram. Like, what are you worrying about what's happening on Instagram mm-hmm. and you trying to drive in traffic to get home? Yeah. So don't let this shit consume you, man. Mm-hmm. I've always felt like for me, like I signed up for that when I was 17. I'm like, I'm going to sprint. By the time I'm like 50, I need to be good because I'm you, fucking you, sprinting. You better until fucking that. believe it, man. Make it make the retirement come down. They try to slave you in the real work world to 65. Mm-hmm. That's a retirement yeah. time. Like, no, you work to us till you're 65. Then you can get your retirement. Fuck your retirement. Yeah. You keep it. Retire at 50. Get the fuck mm-hmm. away from this shit, bro. I wish I could. I can't. My shit started late. Mm-hmm. This new life started 10 years ago. Yeah. So I have to get me another five more out of it. You know, yeah. I mean, I've been blessed enough where I could have just said, fuck it. And I'm cool. Start me a business somewhere or something like that. But I think I got another five more of grabbing something from this. And I'm a, I'm I'm done with it, bro. I'm done with everything. I just want to live. I don't want to deal with none of this shit. I'm going to deactivate mm-hmm. all these platforms, this <laughs> social media, and live a slow life, mm-hmm. bro. It's these phones and social media that's speeding life, bro. We speeding through fucking years, You're bro. Not it's wrong. December. You're not wrong. It's fucking December, bro. We don't even remember what the fuck July was. I can't, I don't know what the fuck You only can doing. if you go back in your phone, but, oh, that was in July. The pictures. Yeah. And it showed a date, bro. So we have to put all yeah, of this shit not wrong. down, bro. Think about it. God, I can't tell you what month is what. I'm... You don't know what day it is someday. After I saw you, I'm like, yeah, I'm going to go check this out. Then I'm going to go film. Then I'm going to go about to go to Vegas. I'm like, moving too calm, fast. Calm the fuck down, man. <laughs> Slow down, yeah, bro. Yeah, I get it. Because you're moving so fast, you, you're going to have an accident. You don't want to do that. You want to move fast, get to your destination, get out the way of it, man, and chill out, bro. Mm-hmm. Get yeah. y'all, get, get it while you can get it now and get the fuck out the way and retire, bro. Enjoy your wife. Enjoy your kids. Enjoy your life. Relax. Mm-hmm. Watch how shit slow down when you're not walking in the phone all the time. Mm-hmm. It's crazy. I did it last week. I'm it's like, going to slow down. If I don't got to work, I'm going to put that shit there. Because usually I'm like, did I miss anything? All right, I got to reply to this. Gotta put, yep. Hey, just do this shit all in one yep. hour instead of spread it out every time I can, can. And what I just did, bro, I went and got me another phone, right? It just got my, my wife, my daughters, my sons, the immediate family I need to talk to, and important people I need to talk to, my agent, a few people at Rockstar that need to communicate with me and maybe like DJ Pooh and shit like that if they need me. Other than that, throw the other phone, turn it off, throw it away. Until you use it, until you need it. And deal with this for one week straight just to see. Watch that motherfucker don't ring that much. Mm-hmm. Watch it just so you can just... Relax. It's funny. On the way driving, I'm like, my phone's on silent, and I keep it on silent. Yeah. Because the anticipation of a call coming, I'm like, oh God, all right, <laughs> hold on, who is it? All right, who is? Oh, I gotta deal with it. It's almost like I wish I could turn this off when I'm getting my back decompression. I can't be on my phone. Yeah. I fall asleep in the day because my brain shut off finally, and I you finally slow to. down. You have to, bro. I don't, and I'm trying my best to to do that, and it's. It's hard, man. The leading killer right now, bro, is stress. We stress ourselves out with so much yeah. shit because we trying to do so much in At one once. day. Yep. Uh, you got twenty. You got twelve hours from when you wake up, bro. It's only so much you could do. You can't do it all. You have to just say, "Hey, to, I gotta take a break, man." But see, in y'all business, this is a business you guys have. It ain't gonna work by itself. Mm-hmm. So you have to work. That's why I say p- pick a line. Pick how high you trying to go. Mm-hmm. How far are you trying to go? How much you trying to get and say, done. I'm mm-hmm. done, man. This is it. We should be able to live on this the rest of our life with our investments and other little businesses that we don't have to be there exactly. and orchestrate and be there to run it. Mm-hmm. This is what this fool's been preaching since I met him. Yeah. I can't wait like- to make enough money and just. Going into commercials, real estate, and sit in my house. That's all you need. Never did it again. Having a brand, buying a house, that was like that first thing I set out for. Yeah. Now we're starting to think about that. What's the next Hell 15, yeah. the next thing we're setting out for. Set you that. a goal, bro. Yeah. Go get you a 10-unit apartment building. Yeah, exactly. 10 units, 8 mm. units. Get you 8 units, bro. And if you can scrape up enough money to pay for it, it might, in a good area, might cost you $2 million. Mm. Get you enough money to get that motherfucker, get it out the way. Fuck leaving $2 million in the bank. Yeah, exactly. $2 million, all I got is $2 million, shit in my, in my account. Damn, that's going to be kind of hard, man. Uh, man, fuck that. Buy that apartment building. 
Mm. because that's going to be income for the next 30, 40, 50 years for your kids and everybody. You can live off if you got 10 units and each one of them motherfuckers is $2,000 a month. That's $20,000 a month. Mm. If you can't live off of $20,000 a month and you already set, you yeah. crazy as hell because yeah. you got that coming guaranteed every 30 yeah. days. Mm -hmm. For sure. Every 30 days. And guess what your $2 million is doing? Growing in value. Yeah. Because your $2 million ain't never gone nowhere. But leave it in the, the bank and watch what happens. Oh. You, you ain't going to get shit. Because mm -hmm. oh, they done took it and they done did what I'm telling you to do with it. Yeah, yeah they exactly. bought the property you were going to buy. Loaned it out to your somebody, money. <laughs> your money yeah. to somebody, and they making interest on it. You ain't getting yeah. shit. They ain't going to mm -hmm. give you back hardly Great nothing from it, bro. Great business model for them, though. I'm I get telling it. you, I get it's it. a hell of a business model, but you don't have to fall in there. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I won't. I'm going to take all my money and spend it on something that's going to make me some money every motherfucking two weeks to a month. That's what we need to start looking at. Mm -hmm. I'm I'm learning it myself yeah. right now, bro. At the age I'm, y'all younger than me, bro. So do it now. I'm telling you, set yourself a goal, man, so you don't stray, be dealing with this shit for the rest of your life. Because you. this shit can consume you. Because this is an addiction. Because y'all interview a lot of good people, bro. And it's like you probably feel you haven't interviewed enough. It's still some people on your, oh, for sure. on your bucket yeah. list. I have to get. Yeah, it eventually. Might, it might get to a point you might not get to that top of that bucket list, bro. So in the interim, bro, get your bread. Think of a plan to when you do walk away from this, bro, it can either run itself. You start training somebody else, another Marty. Another We're already Thomas. in the works of this right now. See what mm -hmm. I'm saying? I mean, to do the show in the back end. We're staying right yeah. here. But to run the back end of the shit, because yeah. what's, what's over consuming is. 16 hours a day working on stuff doing all of our stuff i'm over here we have all these other businesses we're doing all this shit and then oh yeah the product that pushes everything we're it's less time because we have so much other shit going on when we could put the like you said pick a line and focus all our energy in one thing one thing so we're bro. trying to find a mini marty to go hey can you edit this while we're doing another show so he's not stressed the fuck out uh, while he's <laughs> not doing nothing not doing nothing man he's just sitting at home and he relaxing with his family Finally. and letting himself yeah. heal because sleep and peace is the number two healers. That's the only thing that can heal you, really, bro, is mm. to relax. <sighs> right now, if you sit back in your chair and you go. I'll fall straight to sleep. <laughs> watch how your body just go. Oh, mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. I, I know. It's but, this uh, phone. But it's you, almost like an anxiety attack because I'm like, all right, I got 900 things to do again. All right, let's, oh, let's get them done today. Yeah, but you got so much shit you're doing, it interrupts your sleep. Oh yeah, you sleeping thinking about shit. You your eyes is moving. <laughs> if, you can put it, if your <laughs> if so your true. girl can take a flashlight and put it on your eye, <laughs> I guarantee your eyes be doing like this under your under your uh, eyelids while you sleep. Yeah, because you still thinking on. Oh, I wake up and start thinking like, oh yeah, you gotta get that done. That's not good. It bro. sucks, but it, we have to do it because yeah. right now we're in a rat race. Mm -hmm. Everybody, man, because there's so much money with this with this. Uh, YouTube, all this shit, man. It's so much fucking money in it that it's consuming us and it got us in this web, bro. We in this fucking web. Mm -hmm. It's just a matter of when that spider go come down and grab your ass. <laughs> so try to get it's out true. that motherfucker before that motherfucker Black Widow come down and say, your ass next to come up here and get eaten. <laughs> or or I'll just be a fucking Black Widow and be like, hey, man, I'm going to eat up all these other shows and we're going to be fucking <laughs> crushing this shit. <laughs> Don't worry, we'll just do that. <laughs> because they will not keep working. I'm like, oh, you dead? You died? Yeah. From exhaustion? Don't worry, bro. I'm it's fucking on my first win still. Yeah. That, and then, but it gets to the, wait till you're fucking 15 and go. Yeah. <laughs> fucking fall from exhaustion. I get it. I want to, like you're saying, just just be done at that point. Yeah. You, you, if you play it right and like say the other versions of us, the 15 years younger versions of us, they can be hearing this right now. I'm like, yeah. they're preaching that and fools are like, no, 40 is the new cutoff. You can be done by 40. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm not saying try to get rich so you can be lazy. Just try to get rich so you can go live a life and not, and not be attached to all right, a monetary thing again. All right, you're going to get this money again. All right, I got to get money again. All right, I got to get money That's all, That's all our everybody's. minds is thinking. Like Anyone in the world. I was looking at the little dude, Kai Sanat, man. Mm -hmm. The more he's making, the more he's starting to, like, just do crazy shit. Yeah, to you can, his, you, can, jail. Yeah, you can lose yourself, man. Yeah, to keep it going. You can lose yourself yeah. trying to keep it going. You know, he's doing pretty good, man. He needs to some, sit back and and... You know, but I can't speak on what other people's motives are. You yeah. know what I'm saying? So his he might have a motive. He might have a 
a line to cut off and he might be on a mission. It's really hard for YouTubers because you keep trying to outdo yourself and outdo yourself and outdo it's yourself. hard, bro. I'm yeah. learning with this YouTube shit and this Twitch shit, man. This shit is... <sighs> Speak, hold on. Speaking of Twitch, last time we were here, I was like, you know, you should, you should play Twitch. Yeah. You know, people would love to watch you play as Franklin. Yeah, you did. <laughs> Remember that? You and then what did. happened? It, 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 and then it. what's happening now? And you're like, well, how much did Grizzly make? <laughs> Remember that's what we said like, Hey bro I just got off With T Grizzly too I got Just got a text Me and him just talked Oh to man other, We 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 He want me to We finna um, um, Well I was supposed To do it today But I'm gonna push it off To next week I, Cause my mind Is not really in it But uh, me and him Finna do a collab Man Good man Twitch. Yeah Oh I'm people sure. are gonna Lose their shit bro. Yeah. <laughs> Come on He he has the gaming world With the, his all his homies too Yeah and, uh, That's where he does The gaming and Yeah it's it's a whole world in and of itself. Yeah, he 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 definitely like like reached out, man, and like man, let's do it. And I'm like, shit, well, fuck it, run it. Hey, shit, beyond run it, let's go. He like, man, I got to get you in here, bro. Look, no bullshit. Oh, he just hit you up. Oh wow. He, oh, he just left. I haven't told him, but that fool live a couple houses away from me. Yeah, like he just left. And every time I drive by, I'm just like. And then there was a time I drove by as I was playing him. Like, this is kind of awkward. I want to turn this shit down. I just kept driving. <laughs> like, could you imagine, like, <laughs> oh, you're a fan or something? <laughs> playing right up my house? Hey, T Grizzly is getting it, man. He's, he's, I like his shit. I've been watching him and following what he's doing, bro. It's fun. He, he capitalized in the COVID time, man. Mm -hmm. he, was, the world. he was smart, man. He was fucking smart. I wish that, imagine if that was me thinking like him. In COVID time, where I would be at, be playing as Franklin in oh, my own world. as of now. But you're a couple months behind, man. No, nah, man, I think I'm a ways behind because of we'll see my mentality. I don't, I don't have it like them younger dudes have. But they're like, tech savvy. That shit make that shit frustrates me. Yeah, yeah, it makes me like, bro, can I just lift some shit up? And I'll like hold it uh, from physical labor. This simple. mind shit don't work for me. Yeah, simplicity shit. We just want because we're simple. not. I'm not good computers. You call me after I left your house. Go. How do I? How do I get back to this that window? And I go just I don't. just click the top window on Google. And you're like, all right, I'm there. I'm like, damn, that's how I feel. Yeah. How do you? How do I turn this computer on? Yeah. <laughs> like I uh, swear to God, that's how I feel I'm too. I'm calling LT all the time. Oh, it's too mm -hmm. much. Lawrence LT. Yeah. I call him all the time, man, because that motherfucker is a is a genius man he's he just hold on you say lt lawrence um the, the no to helping him with the world not not not, not LT, lawrence LT. Taylor, or... no I don't, I don't think he's <laughs> good oh, at hell no no i don't think he's inviting him over to go hey sit on my computer lt yeah, throw, <laughs> yeah wild. tackle me hey, <laughs> on i want to run the ball tackle me on stream <laughs> yeah, nah. nah this dude lt man that uh that does the with your boy tone in there man yeah this dude, he mm. good, man. He know his shit, bro. I'm talking about it's scary. He comes to my house and I'll be like, man, I want to do the heat. Crazy. Done. Man. Look, I'll be like. It makes me feel like I'm <laughs> incapable of thinking. It right? makes me feel <laughs> stupid. <laughs> I'll be feeling dumb as a motherfucker. Like, just, I'm just pacing while he's, yeah. eating, while he's doing shit. I'm like, yeah, That's what yeah, Tone man. does for me. He's setting my stuff. I'm like, can I help? Can I do something? Give me a drink. Can't do shit. Get out of his <laughs> exactly. way. Exactly. Yeah, he's like, actually, I got him. I'm like, let me know when you're done. I just walk away. Yeah, I can't do this, yeah. man. It's yeah, like you just you just you just press this button. And it's on. I go, oh, yeah, but got gotcha. you. Uh, yeah, man. The trailer for the Franklin's World looks so amazing. The way uh, you guys did it was like a music video. That yeah. shit was crazy. Yeah, we redoing it though. Another one. I had to shut that Franklin's World mm -hmm. down. I saw that because um, this dude I had that was in charge of everything. The not art. Uh, not so kind. Of, no, not no, another okay. dude, man. That um, I got hooked up through through. Um, yo God But um, it wasn't his fault This dude who we thought I put all the trust in Was giving him money To set up Build and do everything He was turning into A dictator In the Franklin's world We never could get The Franklin's world To move forward Because he was trying to He was Denying everybody Trying to come in Motherfuckers was Filling out applications And he was like No You don't You don't look like You role play good enough You don't look like You what? got enough experience I was like what the fuck? So I started getting DMs like, bro, I'm trying to come into your world and spend some money and get a business and this and that. But this dude is keep. And I was like, who? So everybody started telling me. Then my other staff in there in the discord was telling me, man, this dude. So I sat in a few meetings and I watched how he talked to people, man. Uh, it was like 
what? I used to be like, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. In the middle of the meeting with a bunch of people, like, well, well, who the fuck is you talking to like that, homie? Mm -hmm. And he's like, no, I'm just saying, Sean, man, no, who the fuck are you talking to? But don't talk to them like that. And while he's talking to people, people was DMing me while I'm sitting there on the computer hitting the DM. Man, he, he's talking to us crazy, bro. We don't, I don't like this shit, bro. We out of here. And no. you'll see, you'll see my Discord community come from like a hundred and something down to like bling. Clean, uh, just dropping, uh, dropping, people no. leaving. So yeah. I was like, you know, I got to get rid of this motherfucker. So I had a contract with him. Me and Rockstar Games had a contract with him. But oh, this was a serious. Yeah, it was oh, a serious damn. contract, bro. And he got money up in front. He didn't get a whole lot, but I gave him a few dollars that he asked for. But um, I had a contract with him where he was getting 10% of the gross if anything come in. But at the end of the day, I was building a server for him. He was pretty much the god of it, the yeah. puppeteer. So I'm just there. You got the more blessed thing in the world. You got a server that I paid for, and you got Franklin in yeah. your server. What more do you do? Yeah. Yeah. So you should be the nicest dude, happiest dude, letting everybody say, man, let everybody in for free. I don't care. Let them in, bro. We need to get the community popping. And then we charge after we get the community popping. And he see it different. So I just was like, you know what, bro? I, one day I got mad and I, it was Halloween time. I said, man, I'm going to fly into the world. They having a Halloween party in the server. I said, but I'm mad. I said, I'm coming in. And he was like, all right. I come in there. I don't got no gun. I said, what the fuck? My character don't have shit no more. What the fuck? <laughs> so I get mad. I go to the clothing store. They like, put on your costume and come to the clothes. I'm tripping out really for real. I said, where that motherfucker uh, uh, Jay at? And they, he was like, no, his name was, uh, but they know who I was talking about. He had another name in there, but his name is Jay. I said, y'all seen what's it called? And they was like, nah, we ain't seen him. He here around here somewhere. So I picked the phone up in the server and called him. He answered the phone. What up, dog? I say, where you at, man? He's like, man, I'm, I'm, uh, you, you going to the Halloween party? I say, yeah, pull up on me, bro. I'm up at the clothing store changing clothes. So I go in the clothing store. I was just so mad. I, my costume was just being asshole naked. I just took all the clothes <laughs> off. <laughs> I just took all my clothes off and just had a mask on. So, so wait, you got so mad in real life, you yeah. set somebody up in a video game. Yeah, so, <laughs> so he pull up, he pull up, and he like, man, you can't go like that, dog. You got to go put some clothes. I like, motherfucker, don't tell me what to do. I jump in the car, drive, motherfucker. I'm mad for real. He like, man, you acting like you got an attitude. You need to go on back. I'm going to drop your ass off. I said, you got a gun, bro? I need a gun, bro. So we pulled to the gun store, and I'm like, Get out, Franklin, get out, go up in the inside. I'm trying to buy a gun. Some reason I can't, he was like, he was hitting buttons on the other side, making it where I couldn't get shit. I'm trying to get a gun because I'm finna kill this motherfucker. I'm <laughs> he shit, knows right? what's about he to happen. He was knowing it. He was knowing it. I was gonna, I was finna noodle his shit right in the car, bro. I was just finna reach and kill him while he's driving. And we just wreck and die. I was just mad, right? So he Hold just. For everybody, this is a video game we're talking about. It's a about. video game. A video yeah, game. Franklin's bro. It's a, it's a, it's a server. Because that sounds insane. Right, server. So, so he, he dropped me. He driving and he like, man, he trying to tell me some shit. This is how mad I was. He trying to tell me some shit. He flying oh driving fast trying to tell me how to act i said man yo fuck is you talking to nigga and i'm mad and shit and i just opened the door and jumped out rolling all up the street and shit and then he pulled back up and he like man what the fuck is wrong with you get in i said get the fuck out of here punk and he like he's he getting it by now and he like man he just drive off and then I'm just trying to walk around and mad as a motherfucker. Like, man, I need a gun. I'm talking to myself at the server. People looking and shit on Twitch. I said, man, shit. It's so he pulled back up, blowing the horn. Bum, 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 bum. And I'm just looking at his ass. And I'm like, man, I wish I had a gun. God damn. I want to kill this dude, man. So, so he knew at that point. Because the next day he was terminated. And he kept texting me after that, man. Like, man, is it true what I'm hearing going around? And I just said, man, I'm going to holler at you, bro. I'll talk to you later. But I'm talking to everybody else. Like, getting interviewing everybody else. Like, what's going on, man? Man, he this and he that. Okay, I'll talk to you. Another person. Man, he this dude act like he just, you know, own us and shit, bro. We in here for free, bro. Ain't nobody paying us to come in here, bro. He can't talk to us like this. Like, I, I got y'all, man. So, after I got rid of his weird ass, he, he go to Twitch and try to bash me. Get on there. Um, um, Franklin Sean Fontaine, he's a he's this and he's that and he's this and he's that and and my wife is like, don't get up in there. He only had like about 
about six or eight people in there even listening to his bullshit. Even I just, I, my wife like, don't go up and I went up in that motherfucker. You broke, <laughs> dirty shoe wearing motherfucker. Who you talking to, you bitch? You fucking, what do you uh, categorize yourself as a female or a male? You, I was just going crazy on him, bro. I was like, you lucky I can't touch you, bro. And they was like, he's like, are oh, you threatening me? I said, motherfucker, I'm giving you a promise. You lucky I can't touch you. It you never met him in person? Never. Oh, he's met so him brave. Through the Discord. Damn. He was, you bitch ass nigga. He was screaming all on Twitch. Yeah. <laughs> and then he caught himself. He was like, oh shit. And he said it. He said, because I, my wife snatched my phone and said, get out of here. You, you're going to make yourself look bad. Don't do that. So I heard him. He said, um, Oh shit, let me delete all of this because Sean know the top people at Twitch. He can get my whole account um deleted and stuff and he deleted what everything. A bitch ass fool. Oh, he's a If I showed you a picture of the dude, you would be like, "What the <laughs> fuck? I don't know what he categorizes himself as." That's Where did how bad you, it. Rockstar met, you oh you met him I through met him got, through LT and got Tone and them but type of people. Th that was just like a an online person they never really knew him they never knew him oh this guy's good he runs all these pages yeah let's yeah. hire him he know how to build this and build Bitch that ass dude. but i kind of find out that he's a copy and paste dude he wasn't a real developer now i got a real developer i have a dude his name is dev x he's a real developer from texas and he's serious about his shit he said man this what this dude gave you before it's child's play to what I'm giving you now. Got you. So I was like, man, now the contract goes over to him now. And what do you need? And he's like, that dude was talking about developers supposed to get paid six or seven hundred dollars a day. Mm -hmm. Who he says said, this? The dude that was the first I guy? got rid of. Yeah. So my boy said, bro, send me five hundred, bro. Give me a contract. We make some money. I make ten percent, bro. I got you, bro. I really don't even want to ask for that, but I'm finna work hard, bro. Perfect. A developer is somebody rides with you, get this shit cracking, and then we eat, then we all make money, bro. But the 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 purpose of a server is so when everybody's in the server, you stream your personal shit and you monetize it yourself. You in there with Franklin. So you need to be doing Twitch, YouTube. Streaming that shit that I'm in here with Franklin and you monetizing your shit. That's how you make your money. Don't depend on me to make you the money. I'm trying to monetize my own shit, which yeah. is hard. You know what I'm saying? So it was just like he starts saying he promised to take me to. He was saying this all on Twitch. He promised to take me to to TwitchCon and this and that. And I said, what? I said, bro, I offered to take you to TwitchCon if. I could speak at TwitchCon. I was going to pay for him to come there and witness. I'm doing a, a panel. Mm -hmm. But Twi the people, my connection at Twitch said I, I checked with them a little too late. I, they they planned their shit six months in advance. Uh -huh. So I said, cool, cool, cool. So what was the reason for me to fly you out there for? It don't make no sense. He's just to fly one of those guys, Vegas. man. He's one of those. You weird just ass bringing schools. up weird shit, yeah. bro. So That's I what just it sounds let him, like. Yeah, I just let him do what he do, bro. And now he um he he. He's he's now he's just finna see witness what's really finna happen, what bro. Could have happened. Cause we cleaned up all cause he deleted everything. He deleted my whole server, bro. He clicked all deleted buttons, just messed my whole server. Wait, up. after you after you're like, I'll get you, get back to you. He's he deleted everything. I hope bro, you never he see had this control, kid in person. Bro. I hope you I, never I pray, meet I pray him. I don't, bro. I hope you, you know never what I'm see him. I pray he just stay where he stay at and stay. Insane. Yeah, yeah. But we moved on and he finna witness some shit because he he got out. It, it was like perfect, bro. It was like everything worked perfect because what I got going on now is finna this server finna be so big because Rockstar finally came and said we can stamp our approval and our name behind it. Now I can say Franklin's World, not RP now, now it says Franklin's World 5M stamped, approved, uh backed by Rockstar Games. Mm. Now I get the funding to pay for big streamers to stream in there uh, pay for to be on these platforms in the front of their pages and shit he, he missed out on all it because he didn't have the patience and wait and let's build this together this is my first rodeo and i don't know anything about this so just be cool bro i just want you to get it popping bro no i don't never want to be like t grizzly world that's how he's always say i don't want to be a shoot 'em up world bro that's what fucking he's RP like one of those weird gamer is. ass fools yeah rp server is so you can live this dream that you yeah, know you can't do you can't shoot somebody outside yeah bro. he shoots fool in the game but he says this right but soon as we in our server we killing each other <laughs> i said bro you just shot me in the head what the fuck he found you in the game again? 
uh, me and no me and him we be at in the beginning he was a gang member killing people and doing all oh, the crazy oh, shit. Oh, okay, okay. But he said no, we want some immersive role play, bro. Shut the fuck up. You want like so theater? Weird shit. ass. Yeah, he's GTA. a weird ass dude, bro. <laughs> and he Yo, tried. I hear the stories because they do. He has a role play server, and fools are committed. They are committed to characters. They committed, bro. Ooh. But this dude, man, hey, bro. He's like a theater I'm, actor or I'm something. I'm telling you, bro, the strangest motherfucking dude I ever met in my fucking life. He just felt, I, oh, you going to pay me my money for all? But you motherfucking cut and paste ass dude, you don't get shit. I'm not giving you nothing. Your contract is terminated. And I'm glad I let, let the right attorneys look at the first contract because we typed up a contract. And when I put it to... For Rockstar to help with their attorneys to look at it, they say, wait a minute, revise this and put this in there. You can be terminated at any time of my discretion. Ooh. Boom. Oh, fuck it. You're terminated. Done. You can't come after me and say, you owe me. If you do another server, I get a percentage and I don't owe you shit. And then he went live on Twitch and said and breached his own contract. He said, and I didn't give you the real name. You think I'll give you my real name on that contract? Good. I'm glad you Good. said that because we recorded it. We got it that you said that. Vo it's a void contract. It's voided, period. What Even though idiot. it was. Yeah, he's a strange dude, bro. But I got this new dude, man. His name Waters, that. man. Waters is he's a young kid that I met through him. And Waters oh, is damn. a diehard little young dude that's that's caring. Um, he want to see the server win, and he he's a like man. No, I want you to put your name behind this. I want your password. You put your own shit. You control everything, bro. You know he's one of them type. Like, don't put it all in our hands because you don't know what might happen with anybody, bro. So yeah, Ward is a good dude, man. I like this. He's a youngster, man, and I like him a lot. And he's a hell of a role player, bro. Hell of a role player. Me and him finna fly into uh. T Grizzly world, man. We're going to shake that shit up, though. We come, I'm kidnapping T Grizzly. <laughs> I'm starting some shit. It's going to go viral. Frankly, kidnap T Grizzly. Hold him hostage. <laughs> Tell all his homies we want $100 billion, man. <laughs> and he owns that world. So, I mean, you, if you, that's like capturing the Queen Bee. Nah, it's gonna be hard to do that. <laughs> that that nigga right there, T Grizzly, is a beast, man. He's a beast with that 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 role play shit, man. It's gonna be hard to do anything to him, bro. You can you can shoot him and all that shit up in there, you know. And but to grab him, man, it's gonna be kind of hard because he keep little goons around him in there. It's 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 kind of hard, man. You got to come in there Sniper with a real, team. but you got to come in there with a squad to make that. Yeah, happen. you have to. Got to come in there with about ten people with you. You know, and it got to be planned perfect to catch him off guard. It's like real life yeah. heist. Yeah. Oh my it feels real life, bro. <laughs> oh. Like, I'm going to have to fake like we cool and all that shit. <laughs> what up, Grizzly? What's up, man? What's up, Franklin? Yeah, what's up, dog, man? Yeah, yeah, come in. I'm going to show you this shit, man. Then that's how probably we can get him. But, but <laughs> do it before Christmas because this comes out on Christmas. I'm trying to. I'm trying to get this <laughs> next week and it's going to go viral. Oh, it's okay, going to be some viral shit for his gonna server. Know. And it's going to go good for for me as well you know what i'm saying because it's come on man he's one of he's a top dog in this yeah in this server he's one of the only man. top three people that do this yeah and i've been trying to get with uh they've been trying to link me with the dude uh kai sana they want me to oh, do yeah. something with him but i don't know nobody that got a connection with him because he'd probably love to do something with me you know what i'm saying yeah, being be that I'm the voice of franklin yeah it'll be tight and it'll help out with the server but that's where I'm at with that, bro. With the server shit, man. Well, that, that's wow. good though, man. It's, it's coming back. It's gonna be Franklin's world. Would you say RP, it's gonna be Franklin's and world? Five M. Five M. There yeah, you go. Not RP no more because that's what we had at first. Man, <laughs> so a lot. A lot's been going on since the last time we saw you, man. A lot of goofy shit. <laughs> <laughs> I got a question. So the GTA Six trailer obviously just dropped. Uh -huh. It broke the Guinness World Records. Ninety three million views in the first twenty four hours. Yeah, Which, insane. Insane. Now I was confused because it's not actually slated to drop till 2025. Yeah, is it true that it was like leaked and that's why they put the trailer out? Well, that's what I heard. I heard it was true that it was On really leaked. A streamers, yeah, stream. It was really leaked, bro. It was some really leaked shit. I'm man. surprised that that could even happen. Well, shit, anything is possible, bro. See, mm -hmm. they hacked um Vegas. Remember about a month mm. ago, all the Caesars Palace and, and MGM Grand, all that shit was hacked. Hell yeah, prices was uh, two thousand a night for a room and shit like that. Mm. 
It was crazy, bro. <laughs> These motherfuckers can do what they want to do, bro, if it's dealing with a phone, a computer, or anything like that, bro. So, yeah, with Rockstar. But Rockstar is pretty, they pretty sharp. They gets right on that shit. And they, they, they get down to the bottom of it. They got a team, man. They got a team. I don't know how, who the team is and, mm-hmm. and how aggressive they are. I know Rockstar, man. You just can't go fucking with them. Bro. No, no. They one mm-hmm. of the, if not the top video game makers. Yeah. Uh, no, it's, around, the, it's bro. the biggest one. Yeah. So, so yeah, I heard about the same thing about the leak and stuff, man. But that video, that trailer is fucking unbelievable. Yeah. Crazy, man. bro. But what did y'all expect? You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. No, it took yeah. a decade. Man. I'm, it better be like this. Yeah, <laughs> you know? bro. But then technology is much better now. Yeah, there was no online gaming for GTA 5 when they made it, right? Yeah, no, but no. no. No, but no. I is think that why it took so long? Do you think? Um, I don't know, bro. I think maybe. I think maybe because GTA Five was still doing so good. This is this is me thinking. GTA Five was still doing good, still making noise, and then when the online came, it just even went. It was like a second oh, release. Oh, come on! It was a second release, release for yeah. us. So I mean, why cut the cash cow? You yeah, know, let true. it keep going, bro. It let it keep going, let it keep going. But then I think at some point they probably figured, let's get ready to go. And I think it would have been out sooner, but the um, the COVID hit mm. and shut everything down yeah. for a couple of years. You mm. know what I'm saying? Everything got shut down. Could we see? Uh, <laughs> oh, <laughs> his server almost got shut down the other day. Oh, for real? yeah. <laughs> He does GTA servers and everything, all that. Oh, That's what he yeah. does, yeah. And it's crazy, Rockstar. I think they, they got something down. to do. Yeah, they and they got some, they cracked got a lot to him. do with the Five uh, M mm. now. Yeah, they cracked down on him too. Yeah, they they got something to but, do with all I the Five M shit. What it man. is is like, we run this entire world. We didn't even know about this world. No, let's come regulate it. We have to come regulate our world. Yeah, they regulate. Games. They mm-hmm. making you unbrand everything. Mm-hmm. Like, That's what he was telling. They told me from the jump, you can't do this and you can't do that, and you're not going to do this and you're not going to do that. And I'm like, damn, damn, I can't have a Cadillac truck in there. No, you can now look like one, but it better not have no Cadillac shit on there. Oh, like, oh okay, okay, mm-hmm. shit makes but sense. Our hard head ass, we was having on. Adidas and Nikes all up in the yeah, shit. Yeah. I was like, I was in the server looking at my boy walk up with Adidas. And I was like, hey man, you gonna get me in motherfucking trouble? Like, really role playing this, bro? Take that shit off. He like, oh shit, I got Adidas on here. Run somewhere and click, click, click. Come back with some big fat man burger shot shit on and shit. So <laughs> I just like the fact that you got so mad and you're like, I hate this fool. Let me hop in the server and talk shit. I'm going to shoot him. This hey, that's what that shit will do to you, bro. You can, you can vent. You can vent. And that's the problem with it. People bring their personal shit from their homes to these servers, bro. They that's what that guy it. was doing. Yeah, they bring yeah. their personal shit to their server, man. And you can't do that, bro. You have to separate this server shit. But... It's easy for me to say that, man. I'm I'm learning that in this server world, it's a lot of strange people. Strange, strange, strange. So you gotta you gotta swim this 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 lake like real treaded, treaded. You can't just go in that motherfucker thinking you can swim with these people. <laughs> hey, man, it's a little dude that probably ain't never had a fight in his life, skinny as hell with some glasses, this thick, big, and everything, man. That's fucking serious about shit can shut your shit down or he act crazy or he's something going on bro it's weird i'm I'm learning a lot man but it's it's something that i really don't care to do i really being honest with you i really don't care to do the service shit um i really don't care to do a lot of this platform stuff but i just owe it to the fans to do it I'm not looking to monetize, you know, of course everybody looking to make something off of it, but I'm looking to just make it pop and I can give more of my content to them on YouTube and do things and let them see some of the house. But I'm not a big person to show off none of my stuff. Mm-hmm. Like if you notice, I've never did that on there. I've never showed shit because that's my privacy and that's my world, you know, because these people are serious, man. Ned, um, the place Michael, his house been swatted like Yeah, I saw times, that, bro, man. Cause he's filming his shit and letting people into that world, bro. Sometimes you gotta keep them out of that world. I've and it that. sucks, man. It sucks that we gotta deal with that as being um celebrities of the video game. You know, we get a kid somewhere that just finds your address, you tell my phone rings so fucking crazy. It's ridiculous, bro. I get calls. Man, I got voice messages, man, bro. 
Bro, this from is, people calling this you? Bro, I got some weird shit, bro. You wouldn't believe it, bro. Look at this shit, bro. You're going to be like, oh, my God. <laughs> I got the weirdest shit that be happening to me, man. I'm so <laughs> I don't know, I know what he's going to shout. I'm trying to find it I'm right so quick. I'm so interested in what's going to happen right now. Yeah, how you turn the volume up? I don't oh, speaker. speaker. Uh, I phone in on your number. Because... Listen. Just hanging out with him, but then the police pull up and they just taking a picture of him. 
shit. I said, what the fuck? What they, what you, what they waiting on you to get him a, a, a SOS? A I need help sign or something? Like, three, three I three times. Like, I kidnapped you or some shit? Like, help? <laughs> so I should have, I started, I should have grabbed his ass in the headlock when they was doing that shit. Like, and drug him behind the car. They probably would have killed everybody. They taking pictures of you guys? They were taking pictures of him. I mean, they were there not just for him, though. I mean, no, they were they there was before. trying to figure out what the fuck is going on. Why is this white dude with us? It's all black. All black functions, like thousands of And you said like a, motor co- a motorcycle club? It was the Rare Breed Motorcycle Club weekend. Because remember, I told you I was coming back from up north, and I stopped yeah, at the gas station. Yeah, you told me that. Yeah. Whoa, man. I'm like, whoa, a black biker gang? You don't see that. Yeah. I don't see that. Yeah. It's always Mexicans, though. Mongolian dudes, oh, or nah, white fools. Nah, nah. Mm-hmm. We, you know I'm saying? You, know, you see those we, gangs, we, which all just... Only white guys, only Mexicans, yeah. only the the Mongols, the Vagos. Nah, we deep, bro. No, nah, I saw him like all I heard was stereotype. Like, damn, you guys are all bumping loud as hell huh, when you pull up to the gas station. <laughs> hey, everybody, you can't shit. hear your music. You can't hear your music. They all playing different <laughs> shit. You don't know what to dip to dance to. You just like what's he? You yeah. playing Mary Jane over here? You playing Dana Dane over here? You playing Rick I, Ross? Over I swear, here. I pulled up with. Yeah, Nine turns, stations going on at one side now. <laughs> full blast. It turns into a competition with them, man. They, oh, they, man. they, they very competitive <sighs> with their music, man. But that's just, I've been in the club. You know, I was uh, the vice president of a big club, a very big club. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. I know you You said you rode, rode with your homies. I didn't know you were. Nah, I was the vice president of a very, very big club, the Choppers, man. I was serious. Wow. Serious, serious dude with it, bro. Is that where the name came from for the dog? Uh, chop, nah, that's all rock star, man. <laughs> yeah, that rock worked rock. out too good. Come on, <laughs> yeah, rock star. Hey, rock star, they they sharp, man. Watch this. I'm gonna show you this. Tell Could we? Uh, is there a chance we might get another offshoot like the contract, like a Franklin? I hope before, I really it, before hope six so, drops, man. right? Yeah, I really hope yeah. so, man. I really hope that we can do another one, man, because that shit was fun. I like to do that. Um, I, I think I. Think Rockstar might they might reach back out they might I'm I mean not this sure. once the servers popping it's oh, gonna be kind of like a, a request I was the vice president bro. damn bro I always forget how you are a big ass fool yeah you're like a different human yeah, being when you're when you're I a big was a ass different dude different person you look too. younger now attitude yeah right crazy. that kind of weird yeah. how old is this picture shit about fifteen years old it's bro. weird huh mm-hmm. you look younger now than you do here hey I was a oh I show the camera just so people can yeah see. just so people don't think I'm a liar hey I was a bitter dude too back right then bro I guarantee I had a gun on me in a bulletproof vest guarantee oh is that why you bro. look so big oh okay okay guarantee bro guarantee damn Ugh. and I was shaking the hands of a of a a mongo Another uh, a Mexican Another bi- dude, yeah, was a Mongo like mafia type dude. We was shaking hands at a club because there was just a respect thing. This, these days, man, damn, this is this is right before I start shooting on Grand Theft Auto. Oh, so you're still in the shit with this? This is right around mm. the time before I start working with Grand Theft Auto. I walked away from this to start mm. start fucking with Grand. That was this was probably last time I rode a bike. And I separated myself. I just quit and retired myself. Oh, so you don't yeah. mess with the bikes at all? No, nah, I don't fuck with that shit no more. It's just too much, man. It's too much. It's too much like like a gang. And I was um, in charge of a lot of dudes. Mm-hmm. And and they look, they look for me to... Um, to like have the answers for a lot of shit. Mm-hmm. And these are all different personalities of guys. You know, firemen... Uh, police officers, all kind of dudes, bro. But you see the the street side come out in this fireman and this doctor and this all duty uh, police officer while they on the bike set. Mm, you know what I'm saying? Like yeah. you would think he would be like, you know, some different. But they just want to just be a regular dude at some time because they are police officers, firemen. They just like us, man. But when they put their uniform on and they with they they partners, you know, they have to protect and yeah. serve. So called, but <laughs> they have to turn it to this other person, man. And um, but when you meet them outside of that, man, the coolest dudes you can ever meet. Yeah, I know a few police officers, man, and cool as a motherfucker, man. Cool as all I do. I'd be like, damn, if they can all be like this, bro. I used to say this a long time ago, bro. Um, this is when K Day was popping. I remember I went on a show called Straight from Straight from the Streets on there back in the days I was younger, me and Cam. And they asked me what do I think would make the police and the and 
and the neighborhoods respect each other a little better. I said, well, when you start letting these good guys that come from out of our neighborhoods that went to go be a police officer that never been in trouble, but they went to the service and they came home and they was a police officer. But then when they come home, you let them graduate the academy to be a police officer, but you send them to the fucking Santa Barbara to work. Let them police our own neighborhood because we know these officers. Oh, I got you. Let, let a dude that I know pull up and say, come on, Sean Solo, man. You standing out here with a fucking gun and drugs, bro. I'm going to arrest your ass if I catch you again, bro. Go stop this shit. Let somebody we can deal with, not somebody pull up and be, freeze, get on the motherfucking ground and kill me because I'm trying to take my cell phone out and, and say, oh, I got my cell phone in my hand. Mm -hmm. People that don't understand me, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. They think, oh, letting... Uh, someone we grew up with or we know from the community be a police officer it might be a lot of shit that you can get away with no let these real fucking police officers come and police the neighborhood and try to clean it up cause I can deal with a dude telling me bro this ain't the way to go mm -hmm. man and you're dealing with a person that actually cares about the place that yeah like, man with. you know I'm gonna arrest your ass again it's your second gun I arrest you last week man and you get right back out in another gun man they gonna lock your ass up away bro for a long time this time bro and I will arrest you mm -hmm. Whether you like it or not, I know your grandmama. I know uh, your mama, bro. Yeah. We came up together. Come yeah. on, dog. Officer Franklin wasn't looking at you like that. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. see what I'm saying? Yeah. It's crazy, bro. And I and I can I can remember and you remember in the book that Officer Franklin, mm -hmm. man, that motherfucker was a, a was terrible. Uh, he was he was, he was Bernie. He was, it was, was it? it was, felt like Bernie Mac and Mr. Society or Boys in the Hood. Hey, man, he was terrible. That's terrible, bro. man. He was a terrible gentleman, man. Yeah, we sold dope, and yeah, we stood out on the corners, but. I don't think you you should have been coming up treating us the way you were. You had death in your mind. Mm -hmm. You had anger. I, and you're supposed to have been upset that we're out here standing on the corner hustling. But you also should look at the ideology and the history of why we're doing this and our circumstances that we are in, bro. Sometimes put that shit in front of your fucking heart. Don't wear your heart on your sleeve when you're working in the hood. Because in the hood, if you drive through the projects, you're going to have a 90% of black young men and women hustling something, some weed or something, because that's all the fuck they got. Mm -hmm. So you have to have some some sign of compassion to yeah. deal with it and talk to them. Mm -hmm. Don't just pull up with anger. I'm going to kill you. I'm going to lock you away from them. Make sure your motherfucking ass don't be here for that little kid standing out there looking at you. They, they That's how they think, man. And mm -hmm. Franklin was like that. He, I used to hate that motherfucker, man. I used to hate him, bro. I, I don't think I hated nobody like I hated him, bro. Because that motherfucker used to pull up on my grandmother, my sweet grandmother, and tell her, I'm going to kill your grandson. Damn. And I used to come home and she'd be crying. And I used to be like, what, what? And she'd be like, don't, please don't be out there today. Because that officer Franklin said he's going to kill you. And I used to go looking for that motherfucker. Mm. I used to be mad as a motherfucker, man. And he finally got what was coming to his ass, fucking with the wrong gangs and shit. They put his ass in the hospital. He was a vegetable. They, they tow his ass up because you keep doing that crooked shit. It comes back on you, man. That training day shit will catch yeah. your ass. You know what I'm Just saying? Just at the end of the movie, it, it will catch it up. It will catch your ass, man. Come on, man. Everybody ain't going to go for that shit. People, somebody's going to get tired of it, and they're going to come together, man. So then, then we had some. I had a white officer. His name was Connors. I don't know if I put it in the book. I can't remember. No. And me and him got into a fight. Mm. That wasn't in the book? No. Me and him got into a fight, man. He pulled up one day and he got mad at me. And I was standing out on the tracks in front of my grandmother's house where we used to hustle at. And he's like, you can't park your car there. And I said, man, who is you? You know, I knew all the police officers. I knew them by first names, but I never seen this white dude come. And I remember saying Connors. And he was like, you got to move that car. Up there. I said, man, I'm not moving that car. You crazy. We've been parking there for fucking 30 years. And here you come around here. We ain't never seen you. You want me to move it off the tracks, bro? Where else can I fucking park at, bro? You going to move that car? I said, no, I'm not, dog. I'm not going to move shit. Now, it's a bunch of us standing outside. But I was always a person like that. I used to tell all the officers, take your gun and your badge off. Let's fucking fight. And they used to be like, this motherfucker crazy. I was like, no, nah, I'll beat your motherfucking ass. Nobody I ever guarantee did guarantee you. He did it. Oh, no. That's what I'm saying. His name is Connors. That motherfucker said, what? I said, take that motherfucker off. I'll beat your motherfucking ass. I said, you the same motherfucker I'll catch at, at Knott's Berry Farm and Magic Mountain, and you'll be nice as a bitch to me. So he got mad. I mean, he got red in the face, and he took his shit off. Because I said, once you take your badge and disarm yourself, you a civilian now because you, you, yeah. you off duty now. 
And he took that motherfucker off, man, and I whooped his ass. <laughs> but the crazy part about it is the other officers had got a call from somebody else, and they came. Oh, like a neighbor called? And boy, they came like a motherfucking SWAT team. And while I had him on the front of the car, he was on his back. I was whooping his ass, and I had one hand on him. And he had he on his back, and he had his legs trying to wrap him around me to pull me. Oh. Like he land on his back, and I got him. Yeah. And he got his legs trying to pull me and push me off of him. And another officer was coming behind me with a billy club and was finna probably kill me. I don't know. If you hit somebody in the fucking yeah. back yeah. of the head with a billy club, don't know what could happen. Yeah. And all I heard was... And it was my homeboy from Grape Street knocked his ass. <laughs> and they start macing every fucking body. We was all out there crying and running and shit. Ah, police and everybody. Because they just start macing every fucking yeah. body. And we all went to jail that day. That's when um, a assault on a police officer was only like $200. What? Now it's just what? so happened. I, yeah, yeah, $200 and something dollars get at out? that time. Yeah, yeah bro. Oh, uh, I'm scared to be a was cop. Was he honest man. about, like, nah, we were just shooting a fair bro, one. Bro, I'm going to tell you, bro. Look, I bailed everybody out because I had the money in my pocket. I just happened to have a few thousand dollars. It was like six of us went to jail. We, they were all in the cells crying. We was all crying because Mace and shit, and they was trying to give us water. We was in there crying and shit. This is the local jail that I've been in many times, and I know everybody in the motherfucker, right? So so I said, I'm bailing everybody out. I got the money on me. So we bailed all out. We walking out. So the next day, um, I couldn't find my keys to my car. So when he had took me to jail, he put me personally in his car. My keys was in the back of his car. <sighs> he brought them to me the next Shut day. Pulled up. up. I'm out there trying to look all around on the ground for the keys. He pulled up and he gave me my keys. And me and him talked real like for about 30 minutes, just chopping it up. I apologize, man. You know, ooh, he apologized. And, and we was like Officer Connors, <laughs> man. And no shit. We was cool. And I think I might have seen him once or twice after that. Then I didn't never see him no more because I disassociated myself after around that time from that area. I just stopped going to my grandmother's house over there that much. So I don't know if he either shipped out to another area because of what he did. Maybe internal affairs got involved in it and moved him or something. But yeah, man, I had a fucking straight out fight and I and I and I whooped his ass like you know how a slave master finally put the whip down and say, car you All the anger came out. And you like, ah! <laughs> you just, motherfucker, I'm going to beat the shit out of you. I'm going to beat your ass for Kunta Kente. <laughs> so, <laughs> for everybody in Roots. So, that's how I felt, man. And I whooped his ass, but it was a respect thing at the end, man. He came Were you scared and, when you saw him rolling back up and you're like looking for your kids? Nah. I, 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 at that time, bro, I, I didn't get, I wasn't scared, bro. Uh -huh. Police never had scared me. They scare me now because of who they are now. Because they were supposed to kill everybody out there that day if this was the officers we have now. Oh, everybody would have got shot. We all would have been shot. Mm -hmm. These officers back then, they used to come talk shit to us, uh, fight with us, uh, 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 argue with us, and never do nothing, bro. Like, because they couldn't. Because we used to go behind the gate. This is private property. But I can call you all the bitches I want over this gate. Fuck mm -hmm. you, you scary motherfucker. Mm -hmm. And they fuck you back. And they couldn't do nothing. Because <laughs> we did nothing illegal for them to grab us. Gotcha. And handcuff us. So, yeah, it, it was a different time, bro. You do that shit now, man. You going to die a horrible death at the hands yeah. of a police officer, bro. There's no fighting a police officer. No, it's over yeah. now. They're going to shoot you. You can't do Trust it. Trust me. Trust me, bro. We see it so much on the TV, bro. That's 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 a fear of mine, like because I know me, I, I got a fucked up temper and I will fire on a motherfucker fast. So I try to be less confrontational with with police pull me over or anything, man. How you doing, sir? I don't say sir. I'm gonna let me clean it up. How you doing, my man? Because I don't sir you unless you sir me. If he say mm -hmm. sir, you know why I pulled you over. I think I think I do know, sir. Yeah, I. Throw the common respect back. For sure. I sir the whole world. I sir everybody <laughs> equally. Just, I'm going to just. I sir the whole world. The same yeah, I'm like, is this what he needs to be a police or something? I'm looking <laughs> at sir. him like. Hi, sir. <laughs> <laughs> I'm looking like, what is, Marty was a police officer? Nah, shit. Martin Lawrence was never a police officer. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, damn, did I say too much? <laughs> <laughs> no, he read your book and he's got some discrepancies. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> His last name's Connors. Oh, right? shit. Actually. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but this, this. That that was a cool ass officer, man. Me and him, I wish 
I know somewhere in the world, if he's still alive and doing well, he he know that story too. He's probably telling people that story. He's probably happy there wasn't some surveillance footage of him just flailing around yeah, on the ground with his legs shaking. Yeah, back, <laughs> back then, wasn't no wasn't no wasn't no footage like that. Wasn't nobody, footage. yeah, wasn't nobody doing this and shit back then. You know, we had flip phones and and a Motorola and shirts shit. and shit. You know, bleak bleak. Hey, where you at? Oh, got you. That Damn, in those shit. questions. Yeah. Uh, I heard you got back into weed. I don't know if this. Is oh, true oh, oh! That was the next question. That. Thank you. Hey, and I was about to say, I said, I'm glad y'all not smoking here. Nah, I'm not smoking, man. I know uh, you're not smoking. Today, but I'm a closet smoker, man. <laughs> I smoke. Uh, I smoke like periodically. You know, like if I just feel like I had a rough day and I just feel like I really need to relax, and I just be, you know, when I, before dinner time, I boom, 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 go out in the back. And let it hit and go in the house, eat a good, because you eat the shit out of your yeah, food. Your food is tastes amazing. <laughs> Even if your wife can't cook good, that shit tastes <laughs> fucking amazing. <laughs> but uh, but my wife could cook good, though, man. But, uh, I was like, damn, she could, don't nah, watch this shit. Nah, she could cook. My wife could throw down, man. She know I only eat her food. But, um, yeah, I do it, man, for the... For the, so I can go to sleep, man. Because sometimes I can't sleep. My mind is constantly running and running and running. Sometimes, you know, weed it just marijuana it just it, it'll put it where it need to be just to relax. But sometimes that shit heightens shit too, man. <laughs> yeah. Like yeah. I had a, I had a pain one time and I smoked it and it made me pay too much attention to, to the it. pain. And yeah. It was like this motherfucker hurt yeah. worse. The that. fuck. Yeah. <laughs> so weed well, is a tricky game. I think yeah. your mind has to be set where you want it to be when you hitting that shit, man. Y'all. It's weed connoisseurs And I It's different I be around People that smoke weed a lot Like I went to Snoop Studio I had to record some shit Up there about Three weeks ago Two and a half weeks ago With DJ Pool And all of them dudes Up in there And it's like The room was just like And I was high as a bitch Trying to lay my shit Up in the booth and shit And like Man let me do it again Cotton mouth And all that shit I was like The fuck man Y'all done got me High in this motherfucker man And and I was like I just remember You called me yeah, and you giggle. You go. I started smoking. Yeah, I did. Like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> I called him immediately. Go. You're never gonna guess what happened. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I started smoking, man. So it's it's, it's cool shit. I, I'm a grown ass man. I smoke if I want. I want to. I want to smoke more. But you know what? I can't get over. I can't get over uh, smoking and passing out. You just fall asleep. Yeah, I go to sleep and then I hate coughing. That shit hurt, man. I don't like that, that shit. Need a volcano for, sure. for him. Volcano vaporizer. It's the softest smoke you ever had in your life. Yeah, get me one. I, I, I'll actually talk to them about Please. it because it's it's yeah. cool. It's a thing you put the little weed in the tube. It fills up the bag. And you just walk around your house with a little seat. Yeah, bag. get get me one, please. It's vaporized too, so it's not like harsh. please get me one because I went to um your boy spot and did an interview with him. What's his name? Um. Damn, with the long hair. Adam. Adam. I did Adam, Adam shit. Did interview with Adam and shit. And he, he took there. me over there to his little dispensary right next door. Yeah. He gave me some pins and some edibles and shit for my wife and all that stuff. And I'd be hitting the little the little pins he'd be giving me some time. You know, we'd be in the movie and we like sitting down at the movie yep. like, here, you want you want to make this movie good? Shit. Yeah. You sit in the top right or top left. Top right away from the door because the smoke just rises. Mm-hmm. And it won't go in front of the screen. Because one time. <laughs> I hit my pan and you saw it on the fucking screen. Oh, you, you met saw a the light out. Of <laughs> and I just looked around like, oh, fuck, dude. <laughs> Everyone looked back like, oh, shit, man. I feel so stupid. <laughs> so you got to sit to the right because all the air goes up. Yeah. It and goes it doesn't up. suck out the door. Yeah. It goes I've learned. Up. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. You gotta go to I Pick Theaters, man. It's the best one. I, that's, I don't I, we, we, no talk, we talked theater. about it before. That's the, hey, the so one dope. around the corner from us is good. Too. It's cool. It's cool. It's, it's better cool. than the average. You it know? is but better. I than Pick the, is the shit. It is better. And uh, I just think it's funny that I'm like I told you I'm about to move. I'm looking. I'm looking for a house, and I'm like, Yo, what's what court do you live on? And then I look down, like, Oh my god, I literally can see this man's backyard. Wow. Just into his backyard. Mm-hmm. But you're saying you might move. You might make a move, right? I might make a move, man. Hold on one quick. No, go for it. Hey, babe. Yeah, but uh, um, whatever the fuck you were saying, she's spending more of my fucking money. <laughs> All right. Can I spend it from the LLC? Wait, hey, man, I need to call her back. What's she finna <laughs> buy? A fucking purse or some shit? <laughs> so she gets you in the middle of the podcast. <laughs> yeah, man. But she, she she has control over all my shit, bro. I don't I don't control because she has to. She know I'll fucking give it away. Mm-hmm. I'm bad with keeping money. 
I help people too much. Oh, and then yeah. she knows it. She said, "You too nice. You too gentle." I said, "I can't help it. That's just mm-hmm. I was raised up in such a hard life that I like to help people. I like to just hear, hear, just." Do you yeah. remember what it's like, man? I wish I had a band. One band would change I, the world. Yeah, right now. I yeah, remember those days. Bro. We talk about that in the book, though. It's more like like hundreds of thousands. Of yeah, people. bro. Oh, I well, didn't the, gave the losses. Money away yeah, to people, man. And this this book, I I know like a lot of people out there don't read books. You know, in our, our demographic, our yeah. age group, Audible. If you really, really, really don't like reading, but you want to hear this story, you got to go on audible.com. Audible.com and Game Changers, like the fourth one down, I remember. Yeah. It's, it was awesome hearing it, man. And like, it's a it, good it, listen. It, it really is. And I, I want to say, because I know you. I, yeah. A couple of those times, I'm like, yo, this is horribly sad. Yeah. Like, this is this is fucked up. Yeah. It's some yeah. sad shit in there, man. I, I, I'll be sad re, rereading it sometimes. be like, Fuck. Damn, you went through all that. And the crazy part about it is, bro, it was so crazy that I can remember all of this shit. Like mm-hmm. I said, this dude was cold that he pulled this out of me because my memory is bad because my childhood was so horrible. And you don't re- want to remember that shit. So I forgot it for so many years that I don't remember. But this dude pulled it out. And all it takes is to pull a scenario close to it out. And then you can kind of start connecting mm-hmm. the dots back up. And you can keep going and keep going. Had you even really talked all that out before? No. Nah, it was just weird. I mean, we just, who are you going to talk to about it? Yeah, we just jumped right into it. Like my daughter, my kids, they don't, they, they, they like read and like, damn. Because I never talked about it to them. They don't know nothing about daddy criminal activity because I never put it in front of them. I always came home at a decent time for dinner. I always was there when they got up in the morning. Daddy was never not home. I was always like, I was like a Kaizy Sosa, bro. Oh, they didn't lives, know what the fuck yeah. I was doing, bro. But I came home making them like, oh, I just came from the studio. I'm tired. Oh, how y'all doing? Hey, y'all, y'all. All right. Good night. Y'all go to bed. Okay. Blah, blah, blah. Go to bed. Get back up. Take them to school. Hey, yeah, take them lunch. And in between lunch and taking them to school, I didn't probably hustle this or took this from somebody. And then hey, <sighs> go get something, go to lunch, then back home. You know, it, it was. I, I think that's what saved me too. That I re- still respected my family. I still kept them first. I put them first before everything, and everything I did was for them. So I think that's what. My blessing came that kept me alive, but I think God was like, "Yeah, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a keep you alive because you're a good protector and a provider, mm-hmm. but I'm a fuck your back up." <laughs> <laughs> I said this shit the other day, like I do everything right. You. God's like, "Yo, wait, <laughs> boom, feel I'm this a, shit." I'm gonna let you feel some pain because I you should have <sighs> you should have been called a long time ago. So I'm gonna keep you there and let it's you a good balance, be though. an old man. And I, hey, I tell the Lord, hey. Mm-hmm. Uh, I would not complain. Yep. Walking around your house. Uh, your house, house is nice as hell. So walking around the house, like, oh, my back hurts a little. It's okay. Yeah. I got <laughs> stairs. Like, I never <laughs> had stairs before. I'll wake yeah. it up to stay. I get oh, it. Oh, them stairs be kicking my I'll be looking up in motherfuckers. <laughs> God damn. You know how many times I go, I forgot the weed downstairs. Oh, my Shit. God, man. All right. I'm not trying to complain, but <laughs> no, my back man. hurts, man. Hey, I'll be sending my daughter. I'll send my wife, man. Can y'all go down there and get that? You know, I, I, I can you walk the dog? I'll be like, oh, my God, man. You got to come back over so you come see how the yeah, dog Yeah, now that it's finished, yeah. yeah. Is the Franklin bong a real thing? Like um, in the house? You're nah. Real. You're not. I we we have with we, that bong. We have bong something called like G, we have a GTA bong. I call it GTA bong in my house. Man, Before I met you, it was like called it the GTA bong. Yeah. You know what I mean, and that no. bong looked like it'll have me fucked up. Man. Nah, it's it's the process, man. I got you. Don't worry. God damn, it's three. O'clock. Yeah, whenever you're ready, you let me know. I'll drive the eight seconds over, and then I'll show you how to hit the <laughs> nah, bong. Nah, you ain't finna show me bong. how to hit that motherfucker. <laughs> you ain't finna have right. me around this motherfucker <laughs> looking stupid. But I think I need to break that. That I I, I gotta. To bust that cherry in me as far as that the, no homo but, <laughs> <laughs> pause of uh, the getting high and getting super high and get over it so i can yeah. enjoy the high yeah yeah because y'all can smoke weed dj Pooh and all these people and snooping them they can just smoke joint after joint like right now if i was a smoker we'd probably be done smoke what <laughs> three four five joints See, we yeah. probably <laughs> I didn't want to smoke you man. out. <laughs> hey, we'd have ran through them motherfuckers, man, yeah. in here and still be able to do a good interview. Yeah. For sure. Me? Shit, I hit it one time and y'all smoking with the 
the weed in the air, man. Y'all be over here. I'll be like, yeah, whatever y'all say. <laughs> yeah, um, man, y'all order some motherfucking chicken or something, man. What the fuck, man? You know? <laughs> so I got to get past that. I think I just need to smoke myself out. I need to yeah, hang with somebody yourself. and just smoke Shit. me. No, I need to come hang out with y'all ass one day. Bro, I'll go to your house. You can just go to sleep after. just get smoked out and go to sleep. <laughs> Anytime you're Break ready, that. you let me know. Look at you, man. You a bad influence. You say, anytime you're ready. Because you see, you've been in my weed room. There's a bunch of weed. Like, I'm ready when you're ready. I'll leave you a bar. I'll bring you a rig. What a video. Yeah, I want. God. Keep it. Nah, for real. I think you need to come over. You and Marty in there. You know, bring the wifey. Come over. My wife. We just. Smoke until we just I pass out y'all just don't do no stupid shit. No, let's leave. <laughs> that should be my shit, man. You look up and people be high and they uh-huh. pouring water on them. I wiping uh-huh. wiping hot sauce or dripping lemon your in their mouth. No, not me. Oh, but I said, your wife. Did. Yo, I like, nah, what? I said yeah. shit. I used to see that on video on this oh, motherfucker. Yeah, this motherfucker yeah. put fear in you for mm-hmm. everything. Oh, like, yeah. Don't fall asleep around nobody. You be like this. One eye open and one eye closed, man. I promise you I won't do anything to you while you're asleep. <laughs> <laughs> you know how brave I have to be? Wake up and I got some monsters <laughs> on <laughs> uh, uh, man, I'm not yeah, brave man. like that. I'm but good. I got to break that mode, man. I think I just got to get real. I got high one time and I pick, man. Oh, my God. Man. I could call my <laughs> wife pick. and she can witness a witness, man. I was like, call the ambulance. I ain't lie I was so fucking hot bro. I, I was pick? like What the fuck I was sweating What's that a theater I was like, theater. The I was like Hey tell them to Bring the food or something I gotta get this high down I gotta do Please call the ambulance mm-hmm. I hear my heart beating In my throat I was like I'm too motherfucking That's high I hit too much bro <laughs> It wasn't worst. hitting me I was hitting it And I said man It's not working man Cause normally I feel it And I hit it hard The next time And hit it one more time And feel my start coughing Like a motherfucking Got up in the movie Man, man, babe, something ain't right. Call the ambulance. Tell them to call the ambulance. <laughs> That's how high it got. But if I was at home, I probably would just be fine. Go to sleep. Yeah. Go to sleep. But I'm in Easy. a movie theater and I'm panicking. Yeah. Around I'm people. Home. Like, I don't want to die here. Yeah. I want to die at home. <laughs> Shit, take me home. Sleep is the best tap out for that. Right? That's sure. all you should go do. Wrong. Just Close go to sleep. Yeah. Close your fucking eyes. Even on mushrooms, but I'm done. Did you see the sphere in Vegas yet? Nah, I he heard that. It was it was it was a lot. It was, was overwhelming, yeah. Was you high? Oh, come on, you know, like, that was a uh, stupid. Uh, come on, so man! Long. I brought the fuck I brought you weed say that in my pocket. So I had shit in my pocket. Man. Yeah, man. I was too nervous to even. I was holding onto my chair. It's so high up, bro. Oh, for real? It's like two hundred feet straight up the seats. It, what do you mean? It's like a hollow stadium, and the, the stadium seats all the way up on one side. Oh, for real? Ooh, but it's a, the whole thing's a screen, so you're. You're in whatever they show you. You're in there. Was you tripping out a little bit? I saw a few times. I looked straight down. I'm like, that's too much, man. It made me feel like kind of like dizzy. Like, what was it gonna? Yeah, because everything's so big. You're looking. I've never seen anything. Imagine your whole vision is just a world that they want you yeah. to be in. But you're saying it was like 3D too. Yeah, it was almost like 3D. Off. It was almost like 3D. Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna go. Yeah, I'm um, definitely gonna go. You should check it out. You should check it. I'm out. I'm gonna but, go, bro. Um, so before we get out of here, game changer. You can hit, grab the book now. Your your Twitch is coming back on, mm-hmm. right? It's coming back on. It's going to be Franklin's Rockstar World. proof. Franklin's World, yeah. M five M five M five M. And uh, I've talked about it a little bit before. I was waiting till you got here. I and my YouTube man. What's the what are you I need putting on to, there? I need the fucking subscribers, man. I need to get my shit. What do you what are you doing? Um, I just went on there last night just to test, do a test run, man. I'm gonna start streaming. Man, Ned is streaming himself playing. Um, the GTA 5. He just streaming mm-hmm. himself playing GTA just 5, the game. bro. He's killing the game, bro. 300, 400 views. He's he's monetized. He's eating, bro. Mm-hmm. Making good money. What's the YouTube? Sean uh, Fontino. Sean Fontino on Sean YouTube. Sean Fontino YouTube, bro. So everyone that's watching this is on YouTube. Head over and watch some gameplay. All of our... Yeah. If you're what you like video... Nobody doesn't like Grand Theft Auto, bro. <laughs> Nobody doesn't like it. it's Earth. everybody loves it's just, it, man. It's Earth. Yeah. It looked like yeah. you know what you're doing on there. You got the three screens going, you had all the interfaces and shit. Man, you're I'm, professional I'm, learning. Uh, I'm <laughs> learning. I'm getting it. I still you know the best the best thing is just to jump off the cliff and say, fuck mm-hmm. it. Put your feet in the water and just learn on your own and try not to call nobody unless you really, really need them. That's I think that's the best thing that I'm 
teaching myself now is just what is this right here and click on it like oh shit that's opening up another window all right let's drag that over here click mm -hmm. oh shit you know that's what i'm dealing yeah. with right now because i'm so used to saying can you do this for me hey facetime hey what is this yep that's and they me. like that's yeah bro and i won't retain it because i didn't learn i had someone do it for me yeah yeah, yeah. so you don't you don't like yep. you like yeah you don't remember you don't want to remember because i'll just call I you again remember it. mm -hmm. yeah. it's like oh my brain don't i don't care enough I gotta care, and once I care, I'm like, you get it. Yeah, I'll start getting but we it. I don't man. care. I don't care, man. I don't it's care like, about streaming, but I wish I could just have it. This button does this. Yeah. Say a word. Second camera. Perfect. Here we are. All right, guys. Here we are. Take a third camera. Perfect. If yeah. you could just be voice activated. Oh, oh we'll be shit. Come on. <laughs> we'll be the shit. I'm not bro. doing this. I can't remember file or view. I don't remember. It's just bullshit. I failed computer class, man. Man, I failed everything. <laughs> shit, man. I don't even turn my shit off. I just let it stay on all night. Come back down. Oh, everything's still up. Move still the mouse. Perfect. Oh, shit. Yes. Thank you. It's still up. Let me just go right into it. Because if I shut it all down and I got to wait for shit to do this. And Never know. Get rid of that. And I got to go back and the mic not working. And I'm like, mm -hmm. the thing not moving. What the fuck? And I'm panicking and shit. That's literally what happened to me last time. I said, I'm done with Twitch. My mic didn't even hook up. I did everything right. I did everything right. You said Still not working. I'm out of here. Fuck it. I'm done with. Get this. it back on my phone on Twitch on phone. There we go. It has a speaker in. I'm done. Yeah. I'm over it. Man. Easy. On Easy. Phone. Done. Um, so Sean Fontino on YouTube. Yeah. Game changer. Right now you can grab it. I suggest yeah, you go Amazon, check it out. You could get it. Get the voice. The voice. The voice. So I'm, for everyone in the car. Come on. You got a road trip coming up. I, I was the whole thing just stuck. Yeah. It, it, was, it was a movie to me. Yeah. I mean, it is a movie. Yeah. And I know it's your life, yeah. but it's a movie. And um. For everyone out there, I was waiting until you got here. I talked to my homie. He said next Wednesday works for him. Mm -hmm. So I'm trying to figure it out. Oh, yeah. The, we the, got some shit coming So we got up. some stuff coming, right? Uh, they they said, yeah. Content. They said, yeah. Rockstar's like, yeah, go for it. You can do it with this kid. They approved like, oh, it. Yes. Yeah. They so approved it. They we approved like, it. Yeah. We're going to do some uh, nice. GTA skits. Fuck yeah. All right. We're going we're gonna to hey, do that it. that shit going to go viral, bro. You see that 12? Man? What is that? 13 now? Yeah, but the TikTok. Like, yeah. Yeah, with ours, like I can see it in my head. Just going to be like a 10-minute cut scene. And, hey, bro, it's going to kill. They're going to lose their mind, in my bro. Head, man. They're going to lose their mind. Have all the di Actually, I got dialogue, but whatever Sean wants to say. Because I'm not going to write out your words and shit. Like, well, whatever you want to say. Yeah, no, whatever you got. And then I and can then pretty much take it, it and, and I can get yeah. to what you're saying, but in a way yeah. I know how to exactly. say it. Exactly. Yeah, That's I, like, this is the meaning, whatever you want to say. Yeah. I try to write it out like that because this is, this is hard. It's hard. It's hard. Me. All right, scene, over shoulder. All right, wide. All right, thick. It's a whole, job, <laughs> a whole day and a half to write 10 minutes. And I mean, it's done. It's just. Yeah, you get writer's block and you be hard, like, what the dude? Fuck, I'm over here sweating thinking about it. <laughs> shit. <laughs> like, Damn. Just trying to think of every scene. Don't mess it up because my, when I'm, once I'm editing, go, Sean, can you come back and say six words? Because I forgot. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's dumb. You know yeah, what I mean? but yeah. shit. We, we cool. We're going to get it done. We're going to get it done. Yeah, I know we are. Yeah. And, and you know, good things come to those that wait. When it comes, it's going to come at the right time. The internet's going to go crazy for that shit. Come on. Come on. Let's yeah. come on. Yeah, um, come on. So before we get here, what is your Instagram? Because that's where you're giving the day daily updates uh solo 118 solo, solo 118. 118 and then the crazy thing about it <clears throat> is that um i don't know who to reach out to i've had rockstar reach out to try to get my name changed man because solo you can't change it bro i tried to change it and it won't let me do it it say you got, you got too many followers i got too many followers i'm verified but i i need rocks i need um instagram somehow someone out there in your audience or in your fan base could just help me that know somebody in Instagram, Facebook that can change my name. All I'm asking is just to put Sean Fontaine. I got, I got somebody that can help you with that. That's it. Oh, that's crazy. They won't let us. No, because once you have a name, once you have a certain, uh, that's so stupid. Certain stature. It looks like me. somebody says, hacking your shit. Yeah, it says you have a lot. Seem to have a large following. Changing this might cause confusion. Like contact this, and yeah. I contact them, and they never get back. I got one guy. He he might. I'll ask him, but just he, any he help might just try help. to charge him. He's one of those dudes. But any yeah. help or help, bro. He can do it. Just, he can do it. I'll yeah, just give well, you the number can, for yeah, it. Yeah, just hook it up. And I just need it done because, you know, I want, I just want to get away from that solo 118 shit. Yeah. That's, I had started that when I was in the street still. Solo 118. Oh, 118 is, is my neighborhood. That's 118, yeah. East Coast Crip. And I want to get that off. I want to disassociate myself with it. So then also people can come to my page. A lot of people didn't even know that I, my page was the real yeah. voice for Franklin. They see Solo 118. Yeah, Who the confusing. fuck is this dude? He just got a lot of followers. Yeah. 
But oh, this guy looks looks familiar. Yeah. Yeah, so I need yeah, help I get with it. that, bro. Mm-hmm. I get it. It makes sense, me. though. Like, Solo 1A has nothing to do with Sean, Sean or Franklin. Francino, you know what Frank- I mean? Yeah. No, it doesn't. Yeah, yeah. Where did Solo come from? Just, I'm out here Street solo. Street name, bro. I, I Knock got the that. Up by yourself. I got that. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I got that. No, Solo. And I was a cold nil knockout, bro. A knockout artist, bro. Like I told you, I have not lost no fucking fights, bro. I, like I said before, I'm. All wins, zero losses, bro. And that's facts, bro. Um, I don't know how I stand now, you know, with a fucked up back. I'm going to shoot your ass. I'm telling you now. <laughs> fuck with me. But uh, but uh, the solo come from ama- me ah. stealing a... Uh, <laughs> Did you imagine that? I will. I'll pop a motherfucker, bro. You, that motherfucker in the car much. with me right now. Um, um, I stole a... I robbed this this dude, man. We were stealing uh, bikes. And and break dance belt buckles, the long belt buckles. Yeah, you Remember just, those? You just put a date on this. Nah, the dude this, name uh, was School. S C H O O L. That was his name. His break dancing name was School. I took his bike. I took his gazelles and his Kango. We just robbed these dudes right in the Hawthorne area. Now we from the projects. We just used to. Catch the bus, the RTD. It was called RTD, all the way up Imperial. And you go ding, ding, and it'll stop. You pull a, a rope, and mm-hmm. it'll stop and let us off on Imperial and Hearthstone. And we saw these dudes coming from the Hearthstone Mall, and they sitting up on the thing with all they B-boy shit on, with their fat shoelaces and Adidas. And I was like, I, I got to get this shit. So we just robbed and took everything. Got home, I had the belt buckle. And I was like, damn, because back then, they was, they was calling me Yogi. Shit, but this dude named OJ, all the dudes calling me Yogi. We gonna call you Yogi. I was like, fuck it, I'll be Yogi. So I write Yogi around when I was young, 12 years old and shit. But when I got about 14, I took this this belt buckle and this bike and um, got home and it was school. And I was like, damn, I gotta make me a belt buckle, man. And that's how I came up with Solo. I just took the Oh, S, because the letters. The O, shit. the L, and the O. And I said, I wanna be Solo. And then I was like, that's hard. And my boy was like, that's hard. Yeah. <laughs> and I was like, I'm solo. I start crossing out the yogi, putting solo. Uh, uh, I was from neighborhood crib then at that time. And I was writing solo down. And um, that's where solo came from, man. It came from a, a belt buckle that I took. That's the realest shit I ever heard. There's some B-boy out there dancing with his pants falling down the whole rest of the day, yeah. thinking of this fool robbing him. See, he didn't have no shoes or nothing. We took, I took his whole break dance out. Damn. Because we was break dancing. We was trying to break when we was young and uh-huh. all of that shit. Hell yeah. He was Kango list. Uh, <laughs> Kango list? Kazelle list. Adidas list. I don't even think I could have fit his shoes, but I stuffed my feet in the motherfucking shit. <laughs> Jesus Christ! And then you gotta you just sit and turn around and get back on the bus and go home type shit. No, we took the bikes and we just rode oh, straight up shit. down the Imperial. That's what we used to oh, do. I got steal you. bikes all Damn. down there. Oh, you know, okay. It was a predominantly like white, different kind of like upper class area. So we used to catch the kids with the better bikes, the BMXs, the Cool Hours, the Red Lines, and we used to go down there and take them and ride back all the way up Imperial, miles and miles back to the hood. <sighs> yeah. Yeah, that was our everyday. Thing. Almost like you, like you put a lot of effort. You just keep the bike, bro. You rode thirty miles. Yeah, exactly. You know what? All right, you could have the bike. My parents' bike. Yeah. Bro. But also, there's a forty-five-year-old dance instructor out there named School that is just <laughs> pissed <laughs> off. Still. Yeah. And just then they couldn't heated. call. They couldn't call. There's the no police phones. Back then, you know, the phones was. <laughs> 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 so who you gonna call? <laughs> you know. So I don't yeah. know how ma- robbing some kids. Is such a wholesome story. Still, I don't know how it how you did that right now, but it was like, oh. because it was because it was non biting mm-hmm. We we didn't have no guns or nothing. We just was the bully, you know. It sounds like a little San Andreas mission on the bike down there. Yeah, yeah. 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 You know, just take it off, take it off, you know, and fake like you got a gun and shit and all that. You know, what I'm saying it it was just we was just wild, man. You know, because we didn't know no better. We 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 was brought up a different way. You know, I was brought up with around all alcoholics and drug users. So my heart was already uh, championized. Like I was a champion out the door. Like don't fear shit, getting beat up by my older uncles and shit. So, you know, it just made me already be a go-getter being around them because they were all aggressive and gangsters and shit. So I always, the reason I think I was like I was because they were all like my, my heroes. You see them on there, his big crazy ass. 
and his crazy ass right there, man. And um, and they were penitentiary dudes and shit, and well respected through the whole city and shit. So I always felt like you fuck with me, you gonna have to deal with them. So it just made me feel that way. So I see that the knockout shit. It just happened. That just I just happened to have a fucking punch. You know, look at these big motherfuckers. Yeah, you're not a small dude. Broke, yeah. It's been broke so many times. Your kids are I huge. Broke my hands so many times. You were like, they were like, they were. It sounded like you're getting like recruited into like gangbang. Kind of sounds like, like it. knocking fools out. Like, nah, hold on, he's over here well, with us. In the book, yeah, in the yeah, book, you yeah, did yeah, get I recruited. This, I beat this dude up named Sean. His name was Sean too. He was tall. He tried to jump me in, and I ended up fucking him up. And could Damn, you imagine? The only person we jumped him in, he knocked us out, all of us. Now he's the leader. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he beat us all up, man. Yeah, what do you want me to say? It was supposed to be been three dudes, but one tried to rush me before I knocked him out. The other two was like, You're in. No, you're in. What's up, cuz? <laughs> <laughs> you in. <laughs> you in. <laughs> like, I know I'm here. You <laughs> oh, my God. Maybe Mike Tyson over here said, Yo, so I know, I know, we're gonna keep it going, but th- thank you for being here, man. Always, today, today was fun. Always. There's a lot, there's a lot coming out, and I'm, I'm, we didn't just, just hound GTA Six questions. Yeah, so that's good, man. And, like, and let it reason, breathe. And the reason is good, bro. I'm glad you didn't because you know other interviewers they do that, but if you sit up and want me to keep saying I, I don't know nothing, man. Yeah. I, and even if I did know nothing, I can't, can't tell, tell y'all. You. How many times do you want me to say that mm-hmm. through an interview? You're repetitive and boring. <laughs> it's yeah. like it's like you get to the point, like, bro, you you can keep. I'm not going to say anything because I don't know nothing to tell you. Mm-hmm. Why do you keep fucking asking me? And if I did know, I couldn't tell you. So, yeah. but people, you know, they trying to get themselves good content, and I'm glad y'all not like that, man. You know, you already know, man. Yeah, you already know. We no, we're, we're chilling. We're, we're chilling. looking forward. To we keep it. We keep it simple. Diving into this, cause cool. yeah. <laughs> last time you left, you were basically like, "Yeah, last time you left, like, don't worry, I'm gonna get you a copy." And then, bro, I, you should be very proud. That shit was. I mean, to add that to my <sighs> my list of things I did on my bucket list in life, who would have? You're an I, author. I never would have thought I would have been an author. Bro. <laughs> an author. I never in my wildest dreams. An author thought. in other countries getting escorted on the stages because yeah. there's too many fans. None of the Come things on, that we, we we do now, we never in our wildest dreams. I thought I was just selling packs, working for the gut, or for the city of Merced. Think that we would do. That's what I thought. You see I was what I'm saying? Yeah. We mm-hmm. never thought this, dog. And we here. We all here. We, you know, we accomplished some achievements in our life. So at least our name would carry on somewhere. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like your name, y'all names is, you know, mm-hmm. is going to dope air. It's going to be around. The podcast is going to be talked about. So you did something that's going to be. Whether it, everybody know it or just so many people know it, it's still somebody's gonna know about it. So you did a good job. So just appreciate you, man. Back, man, you know what I'm saying. You appreciate it. You're not out here slaving a, a day in day out job and shit. You know because yeah. they don't remember them people, man. Mm-hmm. You know it's crazy that they don't. We don't pay homage to the hardworking people because everybody can't do what we do. You know what I'm saying. So I always pay homage to the hardworking people. I 100%. I love to say, man, shit, just keep going, man. You know I hope you can. Get out and retire early, you know, because don't let this shit like I told y'all beginning. Don't let this shit consume your whole fucking life. That's good advice, though, man. What the fuck could we do at 70 years old? bro? We, we talk about it a lot, but how long are these shows going to really go? We even said like in 20 years, when we're done. It's like, cause that's it. <laughs> I ain't trying to be 60 years old. The point nah, is, y'all hey, show, yeah, the nah, point y'all is show get better. Y'all oh, should get better. Oh, better, bigger better. and bigger. Yeah, bigger, bro. for sure. Because you got a good voice, bro. You oh, got appreciate a it. Fucking real podcast interview and voice. Yeah, y'all sure. got y'all got a thing, bro. Thank you. I'm like, damn, this dude got a real Billy D. Williams voice. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Shit, I don't know why that nobody from one of these top radio stations ain't hit y'all up. About it's because I say me. bitch too much. Tell them not to talk. <laughs> <laughs> I say bitch you're like, hey, when I used to sell drugs, that's probably. Why we got Mario Lopez bitch. coming in a couple weeks? And I'm like, yo, man, how do you tone it down for TV? Because when you if you heard him talk, that fool is as East my, LA as he comes, and he's just hello today on uh, was it E Entertainment News? Like, wow! And as soon as they say am turned it break, up. yep, and he yeah, bitch. So yeah. <laughs> exactly, you want motherfucker? What's happening? <laughs> That's pretty much how I feel about all these fools on TV. But the 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 best people is like that. 
Look yeah. at Samuel Jackson. Turn it on. Mm-hmm. You can't how you can't hold a conversation with Samuel Jackson, Steve Harvey, or none of these dudes, and that's every word come out their mouth. Bitch, motherfucker, mm-hmm. bitch. Yeah. They, they just cuss, man. Uh-huh. It's like, it's shit. just how it is. When we try not to talk like normal, it's like it's, I almost can't. Yeah, I feel like. I feel fake almost. Like yeah, I just want to say what I want to say. Like today, I was like, "What are we? We're going to the, the Spotify invited us to like a dinner tonight. Like the new creators, you should come hang out with the people yeah. and check us out and meet everybody." And I was getting my clothes again. I went, "I'm gonna, dre- I'm gonna dress however the fuck I want." Actually, and I Be went and got you. my shit. I don't give a shit. Be you. I got some old ass Vans I brought. Like, Be I don't you, give a bro. Fuck. One thing I know is just be you. Bro. Yeah, exactly. But I, I I learned something else too, bro. Um, these these wrist pieces that we we got, you got a few. These are more your conversation piece right here. You can mm. dress like a fucking shorts mm. and flip flops. Motherfuckers look at this, bro. That's mm. weird. It yeah. is kind of odd, right? And and they respect more of a plain Jane. Yeah. Because this says a lot. Mm-hmm. Just. It's plain. He's yeah. not trying to be flashy. Mm-hmm. He just liked the art of this. You yeah. Know, this is a You're wearing some t shirts and nice shorts piece. and shit. It's yeah. like Bro, changes it. Yeah, it's like you walk in and go, ooh. Yeah. It's just something you know different. Like, that's, that's not like. I have five meetings on Wall Street today, bro. Leave me alone. That's how I make you feel, bro. And make it, who is this motherfucker? Because that's the first thing they look at. Like, damn, you got a house? Right there. A house. Okay, nice watch. You have a house in your But if he was diamond out, the yeah, the whole thing. Out, what, what did he rap? He, yeah, he's a drug dealer. Because I stereotype. I got yeah. that with. I got it flooded, and I'm like, every time I kind of put it away, I'm like, uh, I feel kind of. I've only uh, seen you wear it like three. I times. I do I only wear it certain occasions. Wait, is, your, is yours aftermarket? No, it's all factory. Or? See, it's a difference. Bro. Yeah, yeah. Of course. No, I'm not going rapper with it. That's a difference. No, I want to be able to sell that and be like down payment. I wanted one. I wanted a a, a factory one done, but they mm-hmm. wanted more than what I wanted to spend for number one, but. I just wanted it to be, but then they said it was going to be a long ass wait. I had to wait a year just to get this, bro. Oh, it's shit. hard, man. A year, it's bro. Hard. When he when he called me, because you know they they forties now. They not forty ones no more. You probably got a forty. I got a forty one. Yeah. Yeah, you got the older model. Yeah, mine's like two years old. Yeah. yeah, two or three years old. So nah, they come. This is new. I just got this last year. I bought this for an anniversary gift from me um, at uh, at Santa Monica uh, Gary's Rolex right there got in you. Santa Monica. But I ordered it like a year ago, and I kept calling every month, like, "Hey, man, did you come in, Eric?" And he was like, "No, nah, we're still waiting, man." But we got this, and was showing me, you know, a some shit you don't so want, yeah. something I just didn't want. I I like them, but it, I didn't want that to be my first real solid purchase, you know what yeah. I'm saying? But then when he called, you know, I'm in the mix of building this car, I'm in the mix of building this pool, and I was like, "Man, I ain't got the money now." Now you called, and I ain't got the money. So, but I was like, my wife was like. Just, just fucking do it. Get it. It's an investment. Yeah, sell it if you don't. If you don't like it. Yeah. It's not. I mean, gonna, I won't get the taxes back because no, the no. Taxes, you know. But to a certain fool, but hey, man, and just add ten in your head, and there's the taxes. But yeah, you, go, you can have yeah, it back. Yeah, because they it did go up a thousand since I bought it. it was a, already it was a thousand cheaper on the website. Now it's a thousand more. Mm-hmm. It's not thirty seven no more. It's thirty eight. So. Now, so I'm like, okay, chill. It's all right, I made a thousand already. Yeah. So, but I ain't got no plans on getting rid of it. I just like it as a piece, you know. Yeah, what I mean? something for yourself. It's man. a conversation Classic. piece, too. Like I said, you know, people just look at the shit. So, like I said, I'm saying that to say, man, leave what you got on, throw a fucking wrist piece on, go hang. That's out, exactly bro. what I, That's I brought it. some vans in my watch. I don't give a shit. Be you <laughs> and some joints. Because the one thing I learned, bro, is when you try to dress up. To some motherfuckers, they expect to see you like that every time from now on. But if you give them who you are in the beginning, bro, then they respect who you are and they know who they getting every time they see mm. you after that. 100%. And that's all you want. I want you to respect me and 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 understand me for who I am right now. I'm not going to come in here all suited up and <laughs> nice shit. Went to the store, spent 5000 on a nice ass outfit and all that shit. That ain't me. That's not me, bro. I'm gonna throw a t-shirt on, some shorts, and some tennis shoes. And the most you'll see is some new tennis shoes on. Right. Come on, thank. <laughs> That's Marty. I got some new Vans this year. <laughs> That's it. Some, some and a new some hat. Air yeah. Force, some ones, some Jordan ones, some some Nike. Something you gonna see some nice kicks, but the rest is something I pulled out. You know, I'm not hiring this month. Yeah, or a fresh t-shirt. Just do this a bunch of times. That's it. Some <laughs> shoes and fresh t-shirts. That's all you need, bro. So yeah, don't go. Yeah, no, we're, we're, it was just, I just thought it was funny. I'm like, damn, man, we're going to that tonight. Feel a little prestigious and shit tonight. I'm excited. 
That was that's about it. That's all we got to do tonight. Yeah. But you're going to stand out bit by being you. Hell yeah. And I'm like, these guys stink like weed. And they pulled up in that car. Jesus Christ. <laughs> that's what they're going to be like, God, Jesus, what do they do? <laughs> Uh, yeah. But no, I I appreciate you being here. I know we've been here for a long ass time, hey, bro. Because we family, bro. No, I appreciate you, know you man. Yeah, we talk, bro. Me and you talk outside of this shit, so it's all good. We appreciate bro. you rocking the podcast gear out in the world, too. bro. Oh, I told Marty the second I saw you pulled up on me on the freeway, and you went. We had our shirt <laughs> I'm on. Always like, doing it, man. I, come I, on, I, gotta, I love that. Shit. I got to give a couple new ones, man. We got we got hey, all the, good the new thing shit. about y'all shirts. You can wash them motherfuckers. They're and not going to shrink. They're not going to shrink, yep. and they right? still feel good, man. Yeah. I that's know, that extra blank, extra blank money right there. Yeah. That's why we did that because that 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 experience, like, you I can love keep this it shit. forever. Yeah, I still got it, and it's still the same size. And I put it on, and I still like how it fit. You know what I'm saying? Hell yeah, yeah. Fuck yeah. Oh, before we get out of here, what am I doing? Oh. It's Christmas. This episode comes out on Christmas. Oh yeah, Merry Christmas, Merry everybody. Christmas, everybody. Bring that up. I what forgot to even say that. Can you? We bought a new PS5 to give to a fan. Oh, wow. Could you sign this? Yeah. And we'll just give it to yeah. a fan. They're going to be happy. What we're going to do Merry is like, Christmas yeah, to somebody. you got to follow Solo's Instagram and ours. We're going to make a flower, we'll post it up. And there we go. Come you on. That. Anything you want, wherever you want. It don't even matter. Yeah. yeah. Do whatever. I guarantee you they're not going to rub it off. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, look at that signature. I'm so buddy. excited to give this away. Yeah, that signature. Oh, yeah. This man signed a lot of autographs. Bro, I my shit's dog shit. There you oh, go, man. Shit. Yeah. yeah. There we go. go. Boom. There you go. Coolest thing you we've go. ever given away. Coolest thing to ever give away. Right <laughs> yeah, we just went and bought it. Like, what are we gonna give? It's Christmas. Perfect. Oh, and it's coming with the. It's coming. Oh, with and the it's gonna come with the oh, game. Shit. Thank you. Thank you. I forgot. Thank you. Yeah, someone's gonna be hyped, man. <laughs> come on. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, they're gonna be happy. Hell yeah. See, that's the Christmas episode. Yeah, I forgot to tell you, this comes out on Christmas Day. So it's gonna Fans be a good be day, so man. Yeah. You know, I do this, man. So Oh, you I really know, know what's up. This. Where's Franklin at? Okay. Let's go. Come that's on. hard. Merry Christmas. <laughs> Merry Christmas. It's been a great year. Damn, this is the last episode of the year. Is it? Yes. There's only 31 days in this year. I mean, this month. Oh, yeah. Okay. What a way to You're the man. Thank you so much for doing that. No, no, no. We'll do that. No, that's yeah, all good. You sure? Well, that's going to be. That's, that's, yeah, that's, that's for Marty's office. office. If, you, if you don't mind, that's for my that's office. That's for Marty's office, man. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I appreciate yeah, it. Yeah, because I got yeah. the headshot. You have a cartoon headshot, which is the dopest shit I've ever seen. Yeah, I had that yeah, shit signed. Yeah. So sick. You already know. Now, nah, Marty's you got a Smithsonian of. Of stuff from guests, and I love it. You're going right uh, next to Tony Hawk, Matt Byrnes, and uh, Jim Kelly. And DJ Drama. <laughs> yeah, DJ Drama. <laughs> Hell yeah. Um, all right. Yeah, good shit. Damn, I almost forgot what to do that. What a great episode. I was just lost. Oh, you're the man. Thank you, sir. You're the man. Let's Thank go. you. Yes, sir. Appreciate you. All right, guys. From everybody here at the Dope As Usual Podcast, Merry Christmas from Marty, from Sean and I. Merry, Merry Christmas. Have a dope-ass day. Have a yeah. dope-ass day. And yeah. I'm smoking weed. <laughs>